Konoa, reviving Senju, starting with Concubine's author, Vortex. Chapter 201, look at the strength. The princess of the land of winds, Siaka. Danzo blurted out. That's right, it's the daughter of the daimyo of the land of wind, she is here to make a wedding, and the wedding must not be too far away. At that time, Konoa will definitely be in the carnival again, and it will also be the time when Senju Starry Knight's defense is weakest. We can do it at this time. As long as we tie up his child, I don't believe he won't give in. Danzo nodded repeatedly. It seemed that the other party's plan was perfect, but it also aroused his vigilance at the same time. It seems that when we cooperate in the future, we need to guard against this villain. I didn't expect that the legendary Madara would be so unrestrained, which also refreshed Danzo's cognition. Sure enough, those who do great things are informal. The next morning, as soon as the kitten woke up, it pestered Nita to play hide and seek with her. And Senju Xinai also had a good time with his wives last night and he has not fully recovered yet. Seeing the happy family scene, Sanju Xinai's heart is not very relaxed. In this converged world, he has too many worries about the uncertain future. The characters that appeared before have far exceeded my imagination, even Um Wu Wanai Wu was forging skills. This means that those perverts in Shinigami are dormant somewhere in this world. If they don't improve their strength as soon as possible, their big leaves are likely to be eaten by future dangers. He can no longer sit still. Senju Xinai watched the fight between Xiao Kuang Sin and Niwu, thinking about it for a long time. At this time, the accuracy appeared. Boss. The person you want has been brought to you. Senju Xinai looked up, and there was a petite beautiful girl standing beside her wearing a blue and white princess dress, with long flowing sky blue hair dancing in the wind. The big watery eyes are as eye-catching as sapphires. The whole person exudes the fragrance of a girl. It was Siaka, boss. If it's okay, I'll retire first. Leaving from the angle wisely, there were only two people left on the scene. Siaka looked at Sanju Xinai shyly, her lips parted and closed, unable to speak at all. You are the daughter of the daimyo of the land of winds, and you were ordered to marry? Sanju Xinai broke the silence. Siaka nodded as long as you. In the middle of speaking, Sanju Xinai raised her hand to stop her from speaking. You are not qualified to negotiate terms with me. Even the great names of the land of winds are not worthy to negotiate terms with me. If you want me to marry you, you must first let me understand your value. Halfway through the speech, Sanju Xinai began to look Siako up and down. Yes, you are very young, but among my wives, there are many younger than you. You are indeed beautiful, but among my many wives, your appearance can only be considered average. I don't seem to see your value. So how do you ask me to marry you? Sanju Xinai's eyes drifted away from Siaka's body, and the latter blushed from the sight. Siaka lowered her head secretly, and began to struggle in her heart. She used to think that she was quite pretty, but Sanju Xinai in front of her was also very handsome, and her looks didn't seem to match him. The point is that he still has so many beautiful wives, and his appearance really has no advantage. Thinking of this, she simply felt overwhelmed and bent down. This move was so sudden that even Sanju Xinai was caught off guard. However, it has to be said that the dry branch of sand actually came out of flat raw materials. During the whole process, Sanju Xinai almost cried out several times. Not far ahead, Yuan Shizhi was playing hide and seek with Niwu and the others. It is definitely inappropriate for children to see such things. Fortunately, Siaka was skilled and solved the problem in half an hour. After putting on the pants for Sanju Starry Night, Siaka stood up with a firm expression and promised, As long as you want, I can satisfy you. Looking at Siaka with a small mouth, Tanzik Singyi smiled. I didn't expect this little girl to be able to do this. It seems that she really has the potential to become black. Congratulations, you've proven your worth. Senju Staryoruichi plucked the curly hair at the corner of Siaka's mouth while talking. Look at you, how careless you are. How can this kind of thing stick to your mouth? Your beauty was born for me, so you must manage your appearance carefully, understand? After Siaka listened to 0.3, he was so excited that he jumped up. It seems that my hard work just now was not in vain. Clatter. Sanju Xinai snapped his fingers, and then Sissy appeared at the first angle. Take her down, come back later, I have something to tell you. Angle quickly sent Siaka back to the room, and then rushed to Sanju Xinai's side without stopping. Boss, what can you do for me? Sanju Xinai smiled, there is something. Happy event. Arrange it in a few days. I want to take a concubine. Hearing Sanju Xinai's words, the angle of view instantly brightened. Boss is going to take Siaka as a concubine. Chapter 202 Ace Killer, Kai Tong. Good. Sanju Xinai stood up. Whether it's Danzo or Yukai Hamadara, they're both operating in the shadows. The enemy is in the dark, and it is very difficult to catch them if you want to take the initiative to attack. This time, they can just choose the wedding to Leon to reveal their flaws. Wouldn't it be much easier to just do the trick yourself? Kakuzu, you did a good job on this matter. Next month's bonus will be doubled for you. Hearing this, Kakuzu was so happy that he could not close his mouth from ear to ear. He nodded again and again, and said with a smile, Thank you boss, thank you boss, I will arrange it right away. After getting everything ready, 
Sanju Starry Knight came to Siaka's guest room. The light was dim, and Shah, who was wearing a pink blue nightgown, was lying on the bed, patting her long, white legs. Who? 16. As expected of Siaka, she is still very vigilant. Sanjuk Sinai walked in and applauded nonstop. Safu was a little flustered when he found out that it was only Sanju Starry Knight. The little face flushed with shame. After all, she was too hasty during the day. Looking back now, I'm almost ashamed. The corner of Sanjuk Sinai's mouth curled up into a smile. This little girl, isn't she brave enough to practice talk shows in front of so many people during the day? Why are you so shy now? Sanju Hoshi Yoruichi took off his cape as he spoke. That solid arm, the muscle line is just right. The whole person looks full of masculinity. Siaka saw his blood boil. How did she know that this was actually the charm effect of Yuzao's former blood? Seeing that the atmosphere was a bit tense, Sanjuk Sinai proposed. The moonlight is beautiful tonight. Do you want to go out and have a look? Of course Siaka wanted to go out, but she didn't look very embarrassed. I dot 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 can I change my clothes? Sanjuk Sinai looked at Siaka's pajamas and wondered, this dress is not revealing, so it should be able to be worn outside, right? But since Siaka wants to change clothes, let her do it. Then hurry up, I'll wait for you. Siaka is still waiting for Sanjuk Sinai to evade, but Sanjuk Sinai's gaze has been watching Siaka. Obviously, there is no meaning of evasion at all. But think about it carefully. The daytime is worse than this. Siaka was also relieved. The movements were very clean and neat, and he quickly changed into a suit of clothes. Looking at the white and tender fat on the ground, Kienzi Xinai was a little bit dumbfounded. You have drawn a world map on it, it seems that you have a lot of money. At this moment, Sanju Xinai finally understood the purpose of changing clothes. Feelings because it's too wet. If you look closely, you can find a puddle of water on the ground. Princess Siaka, if I didn't know in advance that you are from the land of wind. I would even think you are from the land of water. Siaka blushed, biting her lower lip lightly with her silver teeth. That cute and pitiful little expression made people look at it and couldn't help but want to bully it. Sanjuk Sinai held Siaka and put her next to the wooden curtain. Forget it. The moon is just like that today, so don't go out. Turn around and face me with your back. Siaka also lay down very consciously. Sanju Starry Knight has been accumulating emotions since daytime. It wasn't until I saw a puddle of water on the ground that it exploded completely. Half an hour later. Siaka's eyes seemed to be knotted, and the corners of his mouth were drooling, didn't expect it to break so easily. Sanju Starry Knight was a little upset. The technique is so good during the day, I thought I had practiced this ability in private. I didn't expect it to be so ravaged. There is no other way but to waste one ration pill. After taking the enhanced version of Junliang pills, Sha's physical strength returned to the original level. In addition to being pleasantly surprised, she saw Sanju Starry Knight sharpening his knife again. Looking at the remaining dozens of ration pills, Siaka shed tears of regret. Outside Konoa village, a figure stroked Konoa's enchantment. The crimson pupils are particularly eye-catching, and the long and straight black hair hangs down like a waterfall of blue silk. The whole person exudes a cold killing intent. Today's mission is really not that easy. 840. If Siaka saw this person, he would definitely be able to recognize this person's identity. This person is exactly the ace killer who was hired to assassinate the daimyo of the country of wind, Kaitong. It's just that Siaka is involuntary now and she never thought that Chitong would follow here from the Kingdom of Wind. After another two hours, in the dead of night, Sanju Starry Night finally stopped. After all, it hasn't passed the door yet, so it would be bad if it was scrapped in advance. There is a saying that goes well, if you know how to drive, you must know how to keep a car. After practicing driving skills for so long tonight, it is indeed time to take a break. Just halfway through the clothes, Sanju Sinai's brows began to frown. Someone is breaking through the barrier. All the troubles of Konoa can't be hidden from Sanju Sinai's perception let alone the most important enchantment. The feeling of shock only lasted for a few seconds, and then returned to calm again, as if nothing happened. But Sanju Sinai knew that someone broke in. Dot. Chapter 203, A Child with Chitong Must Be Very Temperamental. Starry Night Sama, is Siaka not doing well enough? In fact, Siaka can persevere. Seeing Sanju Sinai's serious expression, Siaka was taken aback. After all, I have paid so much. If Master Sinai despises me, then my previous efforts will be in vain. Sanju Sinai looked down at Siaka in front of him. His face flushed and his legs were still trembling. Can't help feeling a little pity. You just did a good job. Actually, I just sensed that someone broke into the Konoa barrier. If there is no accident, it should be the killer who came to you. Because Sanju Sinai sensed a very strong killing intent, he seemed to be a very professional killer. Don't worry. I'll get rid of this killer for you. You should take a good rest here. This time it should take at least two or three days for the swelling to subside. Siaka blushed slightly, nodded and covered herself with a quilt. The messy bed sheets around all revealed the traces of the battle just now. Even the quilt smelled of Sanju's starry night sweat. For a while, Siaka was a little distraught. On the other side, after Sanju Sinai got dressed, he sat alone on the roof. The silver moonlight poured down, making that handsome face even more stern. However, 
It was such a clear sky with few stars and moon. But it suddenly rained without warning. Sanjuks and I looked up at the moon in the sky, and smiled. Clear skies and rain? Interesting. In the next second, Gainziks and I slammed his head to the side. Almost at the same time, an incomparably fierce sword energy seemed to appear out of thin air, flashing past Sanjuk Sinai's neck. You are Syaka's bodyguard. If you can avoid my one-shot kill, it seems that your strength is also very strong. This sudden voice startled Sanjuk Sinai. One cut will kill you? Are you Chitong? If you observe carefully, her eyes are indeed very red, and the strong killing intent emanating from her body forms a strong contrast with the innocent angel face that day. Looking at this outfit, who can it be if it's not Chitong? One cut will kill and you will use such a ruthless big move as soon as you come up, it seems that you are bound to win, Shitong nodded, you mu I crouching tiger, hidden dragon, it is good to be able to complete the task quickly, but now it seems that it is a bit impossible, while talking, Yutrung put away Morasim instead, at the same time, the light rain in the sky also stopped, this Morasim is Chitong's last weapon, it is powerful and dangerous to the user at the same time, even if I just accidentally scratched some flesh, the toxin on this knife can directly kill me. She can't die before her sister dies. Let me use this Tongyai script to experience the power of Konoa Master. After Chitong pulled out Tongyai's characters, the whole person became focused, staring at Sanjuk Sinai motionlessly, waiting for an opportunity to make a move. And Sanjuk Sinai's mentality is very relaxed, looking up and down Chitong, a cynical smile curled up on the corner of his mouth. Not bad. The child born with you will definitely be very temperamental. Chitong didn't expect Sanjuk Sinai to say such a thing. How dare you be so obscene when you are about to die? Before the words fell, Chitong drew his sword and wanted to rush over. But something unbelievable happened to her. Did she realize that she couldn't move? You. What did you do to me? Sanjuk Sinai swaggered in front of Chitong, and said with a smile, You are also a killer in the ninja world. Don't you even know my Konoa's shadow binding technique? This shadow binding technique is an enhanced version improved by Okai Maru. While restraining the opponent, it will not restrict its own actions at all. Much easier to use than Shikamaru's shadow mimic. 1. There is no picture of those who fight and kill. Why not consider my proposal and stay and give birth to my child? How about it? Senju Starry Knight issued another invitation. Chitong was so angry that he kept struggling, but no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't break free. On the contrary. This non-stop twisting highlights her beautiful and charming lines. Sanju Starry Knight watched with relish. Struggle? The more you struggle, the more excited I am. In Sanju Sinai's eyes, Chitong's struggle is no different from those for Lige's house dance. It's just that now it's immersive and more real. Of course, Hao Hao Zhao is also more exciting. Sanju Hoshi Yoruichi approached Takahito slowly while talking. After taking off his coat, Chitong became a little anxious. Stop, stop, you sneak attack me. You don't talk about martial arts. Sanjuk Sinai was stunned for a moment. I'm not teacher Ma. What kind of martial arts am I talking about? Besides, didn't you plan to attack me just now? If it weren't for his transcendental perception, Sanjuk Sinai might not have been able to escape the killing blow just now. After all, it is one of the eight great him, and its strength is still very terrifying. Seeing Sanjuk Sinai made further moves, tears began to well up in the corners of Chitong's eyes. Sanjuk Sinai comforted. Actually, you don't have to worry. As long as you give me a baby, I will give you back your freedom. Chapter 204 The stronger the temper, the more it needs to be polished. Facing Sanjuk Sinai's strong offensive, Shitong is very helpless and can only give in temporarily. Kai Tong said coldly, Okay, I promise you, as long as you can defeat me, I will give you a child. Recalling what happened just now, Shitong felt that she accidentally fell into Sanjuk Sinai's trap just because she underestimated the enemy. If she could break free from the shackles, she would definitely be able to kill her in an instant with her strength. Sanjuk Sinai also smiled, you said this, I didn't force you. Although the twisted melon is also very thirst quenching, it is not sweet after all. Since Chitong has said so, of course he has no reason to refuse. So the shadow binding technique was lifted immediately. Realizing that his confinement disappeared, Chitong immediately cheered up. Because Sanjuk Sinai successfully dodged her fatal blow just now, which shows that the opponent's strength is not weak. As Kai Trung's aura sank. A huge killing intent instantly permeated the entire space. The killing intent that seemed to be real seemed to be the freezing cold from hell, which could freeze everything in time. Sanjuk Sinai smiled. As expected of the King of Killers, I have to say that your killing intent is indeed terrifying. But, before he finished speaking, Sanjuk Sinai directly sent a flying thunder god to come behind Chitong. He just stretched out his index finger and the middle finger casually, and pinched Morasim in Chitong's hand. Kai Tong turned pale with shock. She didn't know how Sanjuk Sinai did it. Even she, a killer who used speed as her advantage, didn't see the movements clearly at all. Panicked, Akatumi pulls her Morasim hard, trying to break free from Sanjuk Sinai's control. However, Sanjuk Sinai's two fingers were like a pair of steel pliers, tightly clamping her Morasim. No matter how hard he tried, 
he couldn't move at all. In desperation, Chitong immediately made a decision. BGD. She actually gave up the village reign in her hand. You know, this is Morasim, one of the eight great temples which has a super powerful effect of killing blows. This is definitely a rare treasure, but she decided to give it up without hesitation. Such a calm and decisive judgment is indeed in line with the qualities that a cold-blooded killer should have. While letting go of Morasim, Shitong immediately pulled out Tong Yai's characters. Although there is no Morasim's one-hit kill effect, the serious injury effect of the same text is also very ruthless. As long as the wound is opened by Tong Yi's words, it will never be healed. Sanjuk Sinai shook his head. It is said that the more beautiful a person is, the more ruthless his heart is. Today I believe it. The effort to speak, sees the opportunity to make a move. I wanted to catch him off guard, but I didn't expect Senjuk Sinai to easily avoid this spiritual attack by simply turning sideways. Almost at the same time, Senjuk Sinai stretched out his hand directly to touch Chitong's waist. Due to the effect of inertia, Chitong made two circles on the spot and landed directly in Senjuk Sinai's arms, and the Tong Yai characters and Morasim in his hand landed almost at the same time. Oh, your weapon dropped. It looks like you lost. Sanjuk Sinai performed the shadow binding technique again, and very happily pulled off Chitong's sling. You. What are you doing? Sanju Star Yoruichi looked puzzled. As long as I promise you, you will give birth to me, isn't that what you said yourself? Kai Tong's pretty face flushed. But dot 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 but this is too sudden. How could she have imagined that she would lose so quickly and so thoroughly? Although Chitong strongly resisted, Sanjuk Sinai succeeded in the end. After half an hour of patience, Kian Kian Sinai finally released Chitong's shackles. Kai Tong with disheveled hair had tears in the corners of his eyes at the moment. You you you. If it wasn't for my injuries, why would I be attacked by you? Chitong had just had a confrontation with his younger sister Hei Tong two days ago, and the injuries on his body have not recovered yet. Sanjuk Sinai heard the words, and directly flashed a flying thunder god to Chitong's side, observed carefully, and indeed found several old injuries on his body. Senjuk Sinai smiled, are you not convinced? It's easy to handle. As soon as the words fell, a sky healing technique directly healed all the scars on Kai Trong's body. To deal with this kind of frozen beauty with a rock-like heart, one has to rub her repeatedly in order to completely conquer her. It's true that I underestimated you, but if I hadn't been injured, I wouldn't have lost you so easily. After recovering from the injury, Shitong spoke with confidence. But her expression was still shy. After a while, he said falteringly, there is another injury. Why didn't you treat me? Sanjuk Sinai felt it carefully from top to bottom, and found that there was no trauma. Is it an internal injury? No, no internal injuries. After a while, Chitong seemed to muster up courage, and pointed down. The place where you hurt me just now is still bleeding. Sanju Star Yoruichi slapped his forehead. Oh, why did you forget this place? No wonder it was a bit inconvenient for Chitong to walk just now. It turned out to be the reason. But if you have been treated here, then you will experience pain again next time. Are you sure you want treatment? Chapter 205, much easier than the first time. One more pain? Chitong didn't understand at first, but then her face turned red. Stop talking nonsense. Heal me. Looking at the arrogant red pupils, Sanju Sinai shook his head helplessly. I don't care. Anyway, it's not me who hurts. Let me tell you in advance, no matter how many times you go through, I will not show mercy. While talking, Sanjuk Sinai performed a healing technique for Chitong. After Chitong received the treatment, the spirit of the whole person was completely different from before. The old wounds from the previous duel with his sister have basically healed, and his strength has reached its peak at this moment. Sanju Starry Knight, you will regret it. Although his body has recovered, Latong never dared to underestimate the enemy for the first time. As soon as he came up, he showed 120% strength, ready to hit Sanju Star Yoruichi by surprise unprepared. Because all the previous wounds were healed, Shitong's attack became very fierce. In order to play with this stubborn ice beauty for a while longer, Tanyi Xinai decided to only use physical skills this time. With the blood of Sanju, Sanju Xinai's talent in physical skills is absolutely incomprehensible to ordinary people. It was only after the fight that Kai Tong discovered that the reaction speed of the man in front of him was so quick. No matter how I increase my speed, I can't even touch the opponent. After some fighting, Shitong realizes that she is not Sanju Sinai's opponent at all, so she leaps backwards, trying to distance herself. Of course Sanju Sinai would not give her this chance. Directly a flying thunder god suddenly appeared at Kai Tong's landing point. Shitong didn't see what happened at all, and was controlled by Sanju Sinai. No matter how hard she struggled, she couldn't escape. How? Are you convinced now? Not convinced. Kai Tong was still very stubborn. I don't have a weapon this time. So I will fight you with bare hands, of course I will suffer. Senjuk Sinai nodded, okay, then I'll give you another chance. In order to make Chitong reach its peak state, Senjuk Sinai performed healing again. However, after this healing, Senjuk Sinai did not let go of Chitong immediately. Why don't you let me go? Chitong struggled for a while, but Kianzi Sinai still planned to let go. Let go of you? Can. 
but you have to accept the punishment first. Under Chitong's incredulous gaze, Sanjuk Sinai cast clone technique. Two identical entities, Sanjuk Sinai, appeared in front of Chitong at the same time. This is my wood clone, unlike other people's tricks, my clone is real. And both the avatar and the main body have the ability to perceive, so it is double perception. Under Chitong's surprised gaze, Sanjuk Sinai took a deep breath. Half an hour later, Yuan Gang regretted it very much. If I had known earlier, it would be better not to treat it. Do you still need treatment this time? If you can't beat me this time, the next punishment will be three wood clone. Rule. Chitong's eyes were full of humiliation and unwillingness. Yes, she's not good with bare hands. But if you can get your minister Tong Yiwen and Tegumorama, she believes that Sanjuk Sinai is definitely not her opponent. After some treatment, Chitong became full of energy again. This time she controlled two treasures at the same time and her eyes were full of killing intent. After the two times just now, her killing intent soared into the sky, dot 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 asking for flowers. Senjuk Sinai shook his head. It seems that the polishing is not enough. Senjuk Sinai is sure that the red pupil in front of him still needs some training. In this case, you must not regret it. By the way, your killing intent is indeed very deterrent, and it can indeed save you a lot of trouble if you use it to deal with some miscellaneous fish. However, this majestic killing intent will be a fatal flaw when facing a master. No matter what your next move will be, you only need to judge it based on your killing intent, and you can avoid it in advance. This is a fatal flaw for a master duel. Kai Tong is now dazzled by hatred and humiliation, and doesn't listen to what Sanjuk Sinai said. Die to me. Chitong held the village rain in his hand, and the sky immediately began to rain lightly. A sword struck, and the fierce sword intent went straight to Sanjuk Sinai's throat. However, that lightning fast blow was easily resolved by Sanjuk Sinai again. This. This is impossible. With a lesson from last time, Chitong has poured all her strength into this fatal blow. She didn't expect such a blow to be easily seen by Sanjuk Sinai. Could it be that what Sanjuk Sinai just said is true? The growth rewards from childhood to adulthood have allowed Chitong to develop a character that never admits defeat. However, when facing Sanju Starry Knight, she flinched for the first time. She suddenly felt that the man in front of her seemed to be an insurmountable mountain. No matter how hard you try, you can't get past it. She couldn't imagine what would happen to her next. Facing the three wood style clones of Sanjuk Sinai, Chitong shed tears of regret. Dot. Chapter 206, Immortal Black Eye? That should be fun. Half an hour later, Sanju Starry Knight felt much easier this time than before. The whole process is too silky. It seems that Tamama May's charm attribute played a role. Wiping the water stains on the ground, Kianzi Xinai hugged Chitong by his waist. Back in Siaka's guest room, I found that the little girl hadn't slept at all. Didn't I let you take a good rest? Senju Xinai asked puzzled. Siaka pouted, I want to sleep. But you are making such a big noise on my roof, I have to be able to sleep too. Sanjuk Sinai scratched his head, you mean we were fighting on the roof, it made you fall asleep, right? As soon as Chitong recovered, she heard Siaka complain about 613. Her little face was so red. Of course she knew what Siaka meant, but luckily Sanjuk Sinai changed the subject. For a moment, Chitong felt a little warmth from Sanjuk Sinai's understanding. It's just that she didn't expect that she, who has always been aloof, can also have a passionate side. This is more or less unbelievable. Compared to Chitong's accident, Sanjuk Sinai was well prepared. The colder the goddess is, the hotter she will be after turning on the switch. This is the conclusion Sanjuk Sinai came to after watching the video of reporter Jang and Mr. Lu. After coming to this world for so long, he has verified his original point of view countless times. Anyway, you are all sisters from now on, let Chitong sleep with you tonight. When Siaka heard this, she was very frightened. After all, Kai Trong was the killer invited by those nobles, if they were allowed to get along alone, it would be unfavorable to him. Starry Knight Sama, Sister Siaka. Don't worry, I've used Anbu's unique forbidden technique to block some of her actions, and now she can't hurt you anymore. The technique used by Senju Starry Knight is similar to the type of partial sealing technique that the leader cast on Sei. It's just that one is to limit the ability of language, and he is to limit Chitong's ability to act. In fact, Senju Starry Knight can use distinguished heavenly gods to change Chitong's subconscious. But this skill consumes too much and the CD is too long. It is not necessary. He is confident that he can completely change Kai Tong's thoughts within a day. No need to waste distinguished heavenly gods. After Sanjuk Sinai left the room, he couldn't help stretching. The whole person instantly refreshed. When Siaka was about to take a break, Sanju Starry Knight actually still had something to say. I was thinking about who to find for supplementary lessons, but I didn't expect that there was someone who self-recommended. If you think about it carefully. The red pupil just now is indeed worthy of being the king of killers. Even if she used three wood style clones, she could still hold it. If it wasn't for his Sanju bloodline, he probably wouldn't be able to find this little wild deer. After Sanju Xinai left, Shitong's A's showed a killing intent. When Siaka was not paying attention, Yatong suddenly went down, ready to give Siaka a strangle. However, just a foot away from Siaka, her body seemed to be imprisoned by something, 
and she couldn't move at all. Immediately afterwards, there was a strong electric shock. The severe pain made Kai Tong's eyes burst into tears. I thought I would have a chance to complete the task. But now it seems that this is impossible. If he fails in this mission, wouldn't he be snatched away by his younger sister Hai Tong for the title of King of Slayer? Thinking of this, Kai Tong couldn't be more angry. Sanjuk Sinai, who returned to the room, had another woman in his mind. I heard that Chitong's younger sister, Hai Tong, has a very special physique. As long as she doesn't cut off her head or dig out her heart, she can guarantee immortality. I don't know if it's true. Sanju Star Yoruichi pondered, and countless ways to play appeared in his mind at the same time. If there is a chance, he really wants to reunite with Hai Tong's enemy sisters. The land of winds 800 miles away. Aren't you? At the gate of the Imperial City, Hai Tong suddenly sneezed. Unexpectedly, as a veteran cold-blooded killer, he could still feel the cold. She hadn't had this special feeling for many years. The strong uneasiness made Hei Tong's heart flutter. Did something happen to my sister? She didn't want her sister to die at the hands of others. According to the intelligence agency, the last time my sister acted was to Konoa in the land of fire. It seems that she needs to go to confirm it in person. A few days passed in a blink of an eye. Chitong lived very comfortably in Konoa 3.6. Not only is the Senjuk Sinai's care but she did not expect so many sisters to treat her so well. Although she is not good at expressing, she is a very emotional woman in essence. In just a few days, she has adapted to the life of playing with the children during the day and playing with Senju at night. Compared with her current life, she felt that she was wasting her life before. In a blink of an eye, the day of formal concubine came. Anyway, Siaka is also the princess of the Kingdom of Wind. Although it is only a concubine, there must be a marriage ceremony. In the boudoir, Shitong looked at Siaka's bridal dress with envy. Dot. Chapter 207, Resurrection Yuan Yulin, Play Some Underworld. The careful Siaka noticed Shitong's envious eyes, and took the initiative to comfort her. After Xinai Sama and I get married, I will beg him to marry you as soon as possible. Shitong blushed slightly, I haven't agreed to marry him yet. Although her mouth was stiff, the uncontrollable joy on her face had completely betrayed her true thoughts. For some reason, Kai Tong began to fantasize about her appearance in a wedding dress. At the same time, guests from all walks of life outside also gathered in Konoa. Because of the marriage with the Land of Wind, and the other party is the daimyo's daughter, Princess Sire. For such a grand ceremony, the surrounding countries sent envoys. Seeing so many guests gathered outside Konoa, Senjuk Sinai nodded in satisfaction. According to Danzo's character, he will definitely make trouble in today's opportunity. As for the fake Yuakai Hamadara Abitu, I don't know if he will be involved. Thinking of Abito's 100,000 white Z suit, Sanju Starry Night's eyes lit up. 19. This is solid labor. Using his perception ability, Sanju Xenai found two white Z suit as expected. Immediately, he quietly used the shadow imitation book to control a white Z suit. Before the wedding, Thousand Sons came to Okaimaru's research institute. I heard that you have a new development in the impure world reincarnation. Okaimaru didn't expect Sanju Starry Night to come over suddenly, and was startled by the sudden voice. My lord, today is your wedding, why are you free? Halfway through the conversation, Okaimaru suddenly discovered White Zetsu, and Kizaka became very interested. Is this White Zetsu made from first generation cells? Sanju Sinai shook his head, but didn't speak. Although these White Zetsu have been strengthened by first generation Hashirama cells, they are not the products of Hashirama cells. They are actually the fruits of the divine tree, and these White Zetsu are just puppets whose souls were sucked dry by the divine tree in the previous world. It is only with a strengthening of Hashirama cells that the current effect is achieved. IQ is comparable to that of ordinary people. Stop talking nonsense, is there any progress on impure world reincarnation? Mentioning this, Okaimaru's expression hesitated. There is progress. The current situation has enabled some people to be recalled from the pure land. However, in the past, experiments were only done on animals. There were no living people as containers for experiments, so I can't guarantee the specific effect. Senjuk Sinai nodded. Now the opportunity has come. You can use this white Zetsu to conduct a recall experiment. Okaimaru observed for a while, and the white Zetsu in front of him has been controlled by the shadow imitation technique, and he can't move freely at all, and he can't even speak. Every word, every move is controlled by Sanjuk Sinai. Okaimaru couldn't help feeling, my lord, you are really thoughtful. Using this kind of thing to do experiments can avoid the problem of inhumanity. The inner OS of white Zetsu at this moment, you are noble. You are amazing. Crying and chirping. White Zetsu has no fighting power and can only act as a spy. I didn't expect spying to be such a high-risk job. By the way, what the hell is this impure world reincarnation they're talking about? Before White Zetsu figured it out, under the control of the shadow imitation technique, he fell to his knees on the ground. At the same time, a faintly visible magic circle began to emit a faint light around it. My lord, are you sure you want to use this cell for impure world reincarnation? Okaimaru held a vial of experimental reagents in his hand. This is the cell of Noharilin that he kept, didn't expect it to come in handy. However, 
The combat power of this character is actually average. Okaimaru still couldn't figure out why he would revive such a useless character. After a series of operations, Okaimaru is ready for Impure World Reincarnation. Just as he was about to cast Forbidden Technique Middle. Impure World Reincarnation, at this time, the top 10 hand Starry Knight suddenly thought of something. Etc. After stopping Okaimaru's spellcasting, Senju Starry Knight passed a part of his Senju blood power to Okaimaru. The reason why Yakushi Kabuto was able to summon the Impure World Reincarnation Coalition at that time was also with the help of Hashirama cells in Yamato's body. Yamato has only been strengthened by Hashirama cells, and there is not much power of Hashirama cells in the body. And Senju Starry Knight just distributed to Okaimaru. This is 297 absolutely pure Senju power. The efficacy of the two can be said to be incomparable. Feeling Senju's incredible power, Okaimaru cast reanimation jutsu confidently. Forbidden technique in pure world reincarnation. Accompanied by Okaimaru's deep voice, the formation around white zetsu began to emit faint white light. A force from the underworld soared into the sky, sweeping towards white zetsu's body like Uzumaki. Under the wrapping of dirt, white zetsu's aura dissipated invisible. When everything fades away, the image in front of her eyes is the appearance of Nohara Lin. Okaimaru wiped the sweat from his forehead in relief. Success. Dot, 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 success. Lin who was summoned by impure world reincarnation, was also confused. What's going on here? Am I not dead? No Haralin's memory still stays at the time when she was being plotted against. In order to protect Konoha, she forced Kakashi to kill herself. But why is it here now? Chapter 208 Can impure world reincarnation get pregnant? Sanju Ksinai looked no Haralin up and down, and asked Okaimaru with a puzzled expression. Snake, there is something I want to ask you. You said that the body returned from impure world reincarnation can be pregnant? A. If you go back to the adults, I'm afraid it won't work. After hearing the voice, Nohara Lin realized that there were two people standing beside her. A very strange looking adult who turned out to be one of the legendary Sanin. And the other is Sanjuk Sinai who looks very young, a brand new face that has never been seen before. However, it is said that Okaimaru, one of the Sanin, even called the young man master with a very respectful, even awe inspiring attitude. This is amazing. Hi, I'm Sanju Starry Knight. Nice to meet you. Nohara Lin was moved by Sanju Starry Knight's sunny boy-like temperament. Hello, my name is Nohara Lin. But she quickly noticed a detail. Sanju. You are Sanju? No wonder there is such a strong affinity. It turned out to be Sanju's tribe. Under Sanju Ksenai's explanation, Nohara Lin knew what had happened so many years after her death. Of course, Sanju Ksenai hasn't told him about Chi's blackening yet. Sanju Ksenai quietly reminded. Lin, have you ever thought about the impact your death would have on your partners? Rin Nohara looked up at Sanju Starry Knight, shaking her head with confused eyes. Did something happen after I died? Seeing Lin Duming's expression on the raw liquid, Sanju Ksenai was a little dumbfounded. For you, Abito did not hesitate to join forces with Yokai Hamadara, and later he single-handedly provoked the Ninja World War. I don't know what Yuan Yilin will do after knowing all this. Forget it, come with me. Sanju Ksenai held the cell of the White Zetsu just now in his hand and then performed his strongest sensory ninjutsu. Sure enough, Abuto is here. Three minutes later, Sanju Ksenai brought you Anulin to the foot of a big tree. Illusion, he he, little tricks. The corner of Sanju Ksenai's mouth curled into a smile, and he just raised his hand and waved it lightly. The thick tree in front of him disappeared in an instant, and behind him was a cave. It looks like a space ninjutsu that connects this place to another space. HMPH, it's no loss that you are a rookie of Konoha, I admit that your perception ability is very strong. Sanju Starry Knight. Abito also wanted to pretend to be Yuakai Hamadar at first, and the temperament of the whole person is really strong. However, after walking out of the cave, his expression was not calm at all. Lin? From the very beginning, he discovered Yuan Yilin's chakra. I thought there was a chakra who was very similar to Lin. But now it doesn't look like that. What's going on here? Are you really Lin? Because Abito's chakra has changed significantly at this moment, Yuan Yilin feels very familiar, but she can't think of who it is for a while. However, after hearing Abito's voice, she recognizes it. Are you Abito? How did you become like this? As a sentient ninja, he has already seen the current situation of Oda. At this moment, Abito is a body spliced with white zetsu, and Chakra is not stable. Unexpectedly, the lively and cheerful boy back then has become so gloomy now. Senju Starry Knight, what's going on? Yuakai Abito and Yuanulin looked at Senju Starry Knight almost at the same time. It's like this. I think as old friends, shouldn't we talk about the past first? Senju Ksenai calmly revealed Abito's plan to destroy the ninja world. The original intention was to introduce Yuakai Abito's current career to Hirano Lin. However, Yuakai Abito also broke out in a cold sweat. He knew about Senju Starry Knight, but he didn't expect to know such details. Dot vertical bar Lin, tell me, what happened when you died? Senju Ksenai smiled. Yuan Yilin's expression was very shocked. Abito, actually you misunderstood. The reason why Kakashi killed me back then was because I begged him to do so. Back then at Kanabi Bridge, 
Someone put a spell in my body, planning to use my identity to launch a sneak attack on Konoa. Because of the spell, I can't hurt myself, so I begged Kakashi to kill me. It was the first time Yukai Huobito had heard of such a thing after so many years. Seeing Yukai Huobito's surprised expression, Senju Starry Knight was very satisfied and nodded. Now you should know the secrets of the year. So who do you think did it? Question mark. Yuakai Huobito's eyes were full of anger. Senju Ksinai smiled. Do you really not know, or do you not want to believe it? Think about it carefully. You have already been hit by a boulder, and even most of your body was crushed into a meatloaf. So how did you meet Yuakai Madara? With a reminder from Senju Starry Knight, Yuakai Huobito suddenly realized. Madara. You mean the conspiracy back then? And Yuakai Madara was behind the scenes? No Lin's expression is naturally a little surprised and handsome. She has heard of Yuakai Madara's name, but isn't he dead? Chapter 209, Fulabito, you know how to use Rin Tensai, right? Seeing that no Lin was wondering, Yuakai Huabito began to explain his experience of being almost killed by a big stone. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems that you finally got the hang of it. Senju Ksinai nodded, that's right, it's actually not difficult to figure it out. It's just that you were so dazzled by hatred that you ignored such serious details. Yuakai Huobito agreed. It seems that I was sloppy and almost committed a catastrophe. This damned Madara, I want to cut off contact with him and let him fend for himself in that different space. As soon as the voice fell, Yuakai Huobito condensed his own chakra, ready to cut off the connection with a different space. But Senju Ksinai stopped it. Wait a minute. We now know what Yuakai Madara's plan is and Yuakai Hamadara doesn't know what we already know. He knows that we know what he's going to do. You know what I mean? Yuakai Huobito's head got dizzy when he heard it, that is to say, the enemy is dark and we are clear, so we can use our tricks. Is that what you mean? Yes. Sanju Staryoruichi slapped his thigh. I knew that my expressive ability was fine since I was 003. See, you will understand immediately. Yuakai Huobito's forehead was sweating, and he felt that the CPU was going to burn. This is too ridiculous. Can. Sanju Ksinai made a gesture temporarily blocking Yuan Yilin's actions and five senses. You mean Black Zetsu, right? Sanju Starry Knight predicted Yuakai Huobito's concerns, and this part of the content is not yet known to Yuan Yilin. Yes, in fact, the real identity of Black Zetsu is the will of Yuakai Hamadara. I know this is a bit unbelievable, but I saw with my own eyes that Black Zetsu came out of Yuakai Hamadara's body. W. Don't worry, Black Zetsu's ability is nothing more than an observer. It's okay to monitor others, and his combat power is not your opponent at all. In fact, Black Zetsu has long been settled by his mouth, but this matter cannot be confessed to Ibito yet. Moreover, in the original storyline, Ibito completed his plan under the supervision of Black Zetsu. From this point of view, Ibito is actually capable. I'll talk about you Madara later, I need your white Zetsu to do something. You and Danzo must have reached some sort of agreement, huh? Hearing what Senju Ksinai said, Ibito felt very surprised again. You even know this? It seems that Senju Starry Knight is not playing tricks. He knew that this person was very powerful but he didn't expect his intelligence ability to be so powerful. In particular, he was able to recall Yuan Yilin from the Pure Land back to the human world. This is simply unbelievable. Ebito, I know you like Lin, and you don't want her to live like this forever, do you? You must know that although the people of Impure World Reincarnation have independent consciousness, strictly speaking, they are still dead people. But Ebito knows a way to completely revive the wild forest from this state. That is after getting Rinnegan, cast Rin Tensai technique, only in this way. His life will also come to an end. Thinking of this, a look of desolation flashed in Abito's eyes. Lin, don't worry, I will definitely be able to bring you, Jba, back to life. The reason why he wanted to become Ten Tails Jinchuriki himself before was because he didn't believe in Yuakai Hamadara. He wants to realize infinite Tsukumi through his own efforts. However, this time it was to revive Yuan Yilin. He is naturally willing. Senjuk Sinai comforted. I understand what you mean, so let's make a deal. You help me eradicate Danzo's Anbu and I'll help you find Rinnegan and revive Yilin. Really? Thank you so much. Yuakai Huobito looked surprised. Sanju Ksinai smiled secretly. I should be the one thanking you. After all, it is impossible to have a child with my current body. Little Abito. Don't worry, I will take care of Yuan Yilin for you after you leave. Yuan Yilin will not be pregnant at all until she is fully revived, so Sanju Ksinai is still somewhat unhappy. I don't know when I will be able to resurrect. Wouldn't I have to waste my time in vain? It's a little early to think about this. Let's go to Danzo before then. Anbu Yamanaka Feng came back to report to Danzo. Master Danzo, Shigara Tanuki is still monitoring Senju Kuangsen, Senju Luffy and Senju Nawu are also under control, but Senju Ksinai has lost track. Shimura Danzo nodded. This time our target is not Senju Starry Knight. Don't worry about his whereabouts. Let me keep an eye on several children. Yes, Yamanaka Feng led the order to retreat. Then Danzo called Abraham to get the roots. Yuakai Hamadara will appear in Konoa today, and with him his white Zetsu troops. I can't let him consume our Konoa's endurance. You go down and prepare. Once we succeed, 
You will use the worm pot technique to wipe out those white zetsu in one fell swoop. Yes, Abaram took route and retreated. Only Shimura Danzo was left in Anbu, with a sneer on the corner of his mouth at the moment. My Konoa's safety is the top priority, and only I, Shimura Danzo, can protect Konoa's safety. Chapter 210, Routine Danzo. At this time, Sanju Starry Knight and Yuakai Huobito are already close to Anbu's position. Although he doesn't think Danzo can pose a threat to him, but this is Root's headquarters after all. In order to be safe, Sanju Xinai decided to use some tricks. Abito, what's the deal with you and Danzo? This time I took the initiative to find Danzo, and I showed him my white Zetsu unit, and his subordinates in the Root organization are best suited for covert operations. The original plan was for me to use white Zetsu to create chaos, and he took the opportunity to order his subordinates to kidnap your child. Senju Xinai nodded, sure enough, you are ruthless, I didn't expect you to do this for Lin's revenge, it seems that you like Lin very much. Yuakai Huobito smiled, Lin is the most important person in my life, even if it is to exchange my life, I am willing. Senju Xinai also laughed when he heard the words, since this is the case, then you must work hard to get Rinnegan, so that you can use Rin Tensai technique to revive her. Yuakai Huobito's eyes are very appreciative, I will definitely. But the biggest problem now is to get rid of Shimura Danzo. I don't know if you have any good methods. Not just now, but now again. Sanjuk Sinai smiled slightly. You can pretend to have caught me and use it as a bargaining chip to negotiate with Danzo. When White Zetsu is making trouble, the two of us can reasonably sneak up on this old man. In fact, Sanjuk Sinai has already thought up his rhetoric, and at that time, he only needs to push Shimura Danzo's death to those White Zetsu who cause trouble. At that time, it will be said that Danzo died to protect Konoa and no one will suspect him on the head of Sanju Xinai. The two did what they said, and Abito directly activated Mange Kyo Sharingan, and with one move, Kamio directly brought Xinai to the root. Shimura Danzo looked at Abito who appeared out of nowhere with a surprised expression. Didn't you go to the wedding to make preparations? Don't ruin the plan later. Shimura Danzo was clearly dissatisfied. Yuakai Abito, however, didn't take it seriously. Don't worry, I've got you something better. Before the words fell. Yuakai Huobito cast Kamui. The Senju Starry Knight hidden in a different space suddenly appeared in front of him. Seeing Senju Starry Knight, Shimura Danzo was taken aback. This dot 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 what does this mean? Yuakai Huobito quickly explained, don't forget who I am, I am omnipotent Yuakai Hamadara, it is reasonable to easily catch a Senju Starry Knight, right? Although he couldn't tell what was wrong, Shimura Danzo was still alert. Madara, this is probably different from what we agreed on, isn't it? Are you trying to plot against me? Yuakai Huobito smiled. Based on your strength, it is necessary for me to count you. Have you forgotten my identity? Cold sweat dripped from Shimura Danzo's forehead. So far, he has always believed that Abuto in front of him is the legendary ninja, Yuakai Hamadara. So I'm still very apprehensive. And this Yuakai Hamadara can even easily catch Senju Xenai, which also proves its terrifying strength from the side. Madara, don't blame me for not reminding you. The cooperation we have negotiated is for you to launch a frontal attack and cover my Anbu's men for secret operations. But how did you get Sanju Xinai here now? You must know that his subordinates also have very terrifying strength, and with Sanju Xinai's strength, aren't you afraid of him playing tricks? Dot. Ask for flowers. Taking advantage of Shimura Danzo's questioning, Sanju Xinai held Kanai in his hand, took the opportunity to cast Flying Thunder God, and appeared in front of Shimura Danzo in an instant. Sanju Starry Knight can still move, Shimura Danzo obviously didn't expect this. He didn't react for a while. The kanai wrapped by chakra directly penetrated the leader's heart. Next second, didn't you go to the wedding to prepare? Don't ruin the plan later. Shimura Danzo's expression was a little dissatisfied. Zero. Don't worry, I brought you a better gift. After Yuakai Hamadara finished speaking, there was something wrong with her expression. Madara, this is probably different from what we agreed on, isn't it? Are you trying to plot against me? This time, Yuakai Huobito didn't answer. Because he has already noticed that the other party at this moment... He has just experienced it once. How is this going? Compared with Yuakai Huobito's blankness, Sanju Xinai can understand what is happening in front of him. It seems that Yuakai Hamadara's name is too loud, causing Shimura Danzo to be overly cautious, so I don't know when it started, and his army was launched. This is the magical forbidden technique that can turn fantasy into reality. When launching this forbidden technique, it will avoid the unfavorable results. If you are killed by the enemy, the result will be automatically corrected which can also be said to be modified. It seems that I did kill Danzo just now, but it was his Anami's effect that caused this result to be modified. As expected of Shimura Danzo, it seems that you are really ruthless. Chapter 211, Let Me Guard Konoa. You must know that this is a forbidden technique of the Yuakaiha family. After the beauty is activated once, the eyes will be blind at the same time. It seems that Shimura Danzo has caught the eyes of many Yuakaiha people at this moment. Shimura Danzo, I have no doubts about your loyalty to Konoa. 
But what I need is Anbu's loyalty to me personally, not to Konoa as a whole. So, you'd better die today. Senju star Yoruichi cast word style clone technique. While talking, Shimura Danza held the kunai and suddenly moved. However, his target is not Senju Starry Knight, but Yuakai Hamadara who possesses space ninjutsu. Indeed, if you hit the opponent's 703 space ninjutsu during the battle, it is indeed a headache. However, he ignored the opponent's strength. Yuakai Huabito directly put on Suzu. The tiny kunai poked on Suzu, making a crisp sound. Ding. Senju Ksinai laughed. Is this the leader of the majestic Kono Anbujin? It's okay for Kanite to poke Sasuke. Senju Ksinai decided to make a quick decision, and several wood style clones directly used Flying Thunder God to surround Danzo in an instant. Followed by a frenzied thrust. Kanai to Kanai. Fair, right? In the following time, Danzo repeated the process of death and rebirth, rebirth and death. No matter where Danzo appears, Ren Minutes Ksinai can teleport to Danzo through the Flying Thunder God's mark. Danzo's rebirth and Kanai Quanxin, happened almost at the same time. This operation stunned Yuakai Hobito. Send you Starry Knight. What kind of monster are you? In just a few seconds, Shimura Danzo completely used up all the eyes of Yuakai. At the last life, Shimura Danzo was obviously not calm. This is impossible. How can you be so powerful? Is Konoa really going to be destroyed in your hands? No, I will never let you succeed. With a roar, Shimura Danzo tore off his shirt. Senju Hashirama's face loomed over his left shoulder. This should be the Senju Hashirama cells he transplanted. If you want to activate the four elephant seal, I advise you to forget it. You should know that the so-called Yokai Hamadara in front of you uses space ninjutsu. The meaning of Senju Starry Knight is obvious. Even if you really use the four elephant seal, it will only destroy these devices of Konoa. The ninjas who possess space ninjutsu, they do not pose any threat at all. Shimura Danzo was very unwilling. You a traitor of Konoa, actually colluded with Yuakai Hamadara to plot against me Konoa. Don't forget, I am the leader of Root. If you kill me, the elders of Konoa will not let it go. Senju Ksinai smiled, you don't want to spout blood, the person who colluded with Yuakai Hamadara is obviously you. And you can rest assured, seeing that you are sincerely protecting Konoa, I will allow you after you die buried in Konoa village. After all, you lost your life while fighting Yuakai Hamadara. A fright flashed in Shimura Danzo's eyes. So that's what you planned in the first place? Until this moment, Yin Zhang realized the horror of Sanju Starry Knight. If it is Sanju Starry Knight, maybe it really has the ability to protect Konoa from being violated. Now Danzo regrets it very much. If he had known earlier, he would not have to confront Sanju Ksenai. It's just a pity that he woke up too late. Sanju Starry Knight absolutely does not allow others to threaten their children. He was dead when Danzo planned his own child. You, go at ease. In the next second, the leader of Konoa and Bu, who was once all-powerful, finally ushered in the end of his life at this moment. Abito, Danzo is dead now, but there are still a lot of miscellaneous fish in the root. I'm afraid I will trouble you to clean up the subordinates of the root to a certain extent during this time. In fact, both Yamanaka Feng and Abaram have good strengths, and Senju Ksenai intends to win them over. Yet he was not at all sure what kind of control Danzo, the madman, would have over them. Although Danzo is dead now, he can't guarantee that he didn't use any weird forbidden technique on his subordinates during his lifetime. Senju Starry Knight doesn't dare to take chances. After getting rid of Danzo, Senju Ksenai felt a lot easier. At least no one in Konoa is thinking about his child, so he can rest assured that the child can play around. Looking at the current time, Kienzi Ksenai is preparing for his own wedding ceremony ahead of 3.1. After all, he is the protagonist today. If the groom is not present, then wouldn't the wedding ceremony be in vain? Just as he was about to go to his wedding ceremony, Yuakai Huabuto stopped him. Ksenai, since the task is completed, should you let me meet you Anya Lin? Only then did Senju Ksenai remember that he was afraid that others would know the secret of Black Zetsu, so he imprisoned you Anya Lin's actions. I almost forgot, you go back first, after I make a seal, you Anya Lin will regain consciousness immediately. Hearing Senju Starry Knight's promise, Yuakai was relieved. Dot. Chapter 212. Is it really immortal? When returning to Konoa, Senju Ksenai found that the root members among the guests had basically been cleaned up, and looking at the happy atmosphere at the scene, it seemed that they were not disturbed at all. Obviously, Ebito brought not only White Zetsu this time, but also Akatsuki members. Otherwise, it is absolutely impossible to get rid of those subordinates who have lost their roots so quietly. You must know that the root is also a very powerful organization. It seems that the people brought this time are also very powerful. The work is so clean and tidy, could it be that pain of Nagato did it himself? Thinking of Nagato, in order to perform the Rin Tensai technique on Yuan Yilin as soon as possible, it seems that it is really necessary to visit him. What's more, Conan and Nagato are so familiar, almost like brothers and sisters. It's always right to take time to meet Twenty and see the uncle, right? When the wedding was held, Kuangsen and Luffy acted as boys and girls, leading Sanju Ksenai and Siaka. After the ceremony was held, everyone sat down one after another, 
and they ate at the flowing banquet until the evening. The atmosphere at the scene was very cheerful, and before you knew it, it was time to end. Just as they were about to enter the bridal chamber, there was a sudden fight outside the door. Sanjuk Sinai took off half of his clothes and quickly turned around to get up. It's really non-stop all day long. After going out, Sanjuk Sinai smiled instantly. Black pupil. After hearing Sanjuk Sinai's voice, the red pupil and black pupil who were fighting were almost at the same time. Even Hei Tong felt very surprised. You actually know me? Sanjuk Sinai smiled and said, You two brothers and sisters are so famous. It's not surprising that you know each other, right? Because Chitong was developed by Sanjuk Sinai last night. It has not fully recovered today. If Sanju Starry Knight appeared a few seconds later, I am afraid that he would really die in the hands of the black eyed Tegu Hikabo. Hai Tong, although you are my sister in law, you can't be rude to my wife. Sanju Sinai's smile was very bright, and Chitong was really shocked when he heard that. After so many years, this was the first time she was protected by someone. Moreover, he was such a handsome guy like Sanju Sinai. Chitong's psychology quietly changed. Looking at Sanju Sinai's eyes, Chitong actually felt an unprecedented feeling. Is this love? Kai Tong and Hai Tong's childhood experience made them have a special attachment to love. And the two sisters are not enemies. It is precisely because of the sisterly affection between each other, that special love, the love from relatives, that made them into such a state. They never allow others to hurt their sisters, but they also know that the end of the killer is death. So, in order to prevent the sisters from being killed by others, they started a long vendetta against each other. However, at this moment, Someone else came forward to protect her sister. Hai Tong's face was instantly filled with murderous intent. Sister, it seems that you have found a husband who loves you very much. Before Chitong had time to refute, Hai Tong directly began to control Tegi Hukubo and slashed towards Sanju Xinai. The speed of this knife is not slow, but it is absolutely impossible to hurt Kian Kian Xinai. Seeing that Sanju Xinai easily dodged his slash, Hai Tong was a little surprised. I underestimated you this time. But I will be serious next time. Tegu Hakibo with black pupils posed at a strange angle this time, and a chilly aura spread out. In the next second, eight top beauties appeared around him. This is the ability of my Tegu Bafang. These dolls were all super powerful fighters in their lifetime. No matter how powerful you are, it is impossible to defeat eight super fighters at the same time, right? Don't blame me for bullying the few, we killers do things to achieve our goals. Sanjuk Sinai smiled slightly. Coincidentally, we ninjas are also unscrupulous in doing things. Before the words were finished, Sanju Starry Knight activated wood clone technique. However, this time he directly made 64 wood clone, divided them into groups of eight, and surrounded the eight warriors with black pupils and Tegu Hikaiba. Hai Trung panicked, what are you? It's what you said. I will do anything to achieve my goal. I'm just like you. Bullying the few with a more. Sanju Xinai waved 487, 64 clones at the same time and sent the attackers to dismantle Hei Tong's doll into eight pieces in an instant. Those puppets that have long since died are once again becoming fans of Hua Ai. Dozens of Senju Starry Knights surrounded the black pupils, with a smirk on the corner of their mouths. I heard that you are a super soldier modified by drugs. As long as your heart and head are not destroyed, you will not die. Facing the Senju Starry Knight in front of him, Hei Tong felt fear for the first time. You dot 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 what do you want to do? Sanju Sinai gave a smirk, you, Hai Trung's expression was still very confused. Looking at your age, you should be 18, right? Don't you understand? But it doesn't matter if you don't understand, Sanju Sinai will let her understand right away. Chitong, I know that you and your younger sister Hei Tong have very complicated grievances, but I hope you can resolve the hatred in the future and be good sisters together. Is that okay? Sanju Starry Knight seemed to discuss, but the tone was undeniable. Kai Tong was stunned for a moment, then nodded. I see. Chapter 213, Black and Red Pupils. Back in the room, Sanju Xinai couldn't wait to prove that Kuratong really couldn't die. So when the two were communicating, he actually used the partial doubling technique. You must know that this ninjutsu is the secret technique of the Akamaki family. Strengthen your body by strengthening the yang attribute. Functional effects are also apparent, allowing both partial and full body enlargement. As a killer, Hai Trong certainly doesn't know the details of these ninjutsu, not to mention the secret technique of the Konoha Akamaki clan. Ah. Although it is a body that has been strengthened by drugs, it shouldn't have pain. But it was the first time for her to experience this wonderful feeling. It's obviously not painful, but why should I cry? Hei Tong was very puzzled in his eyes. Senju Xinai and Hei Tong looked at each other face to face, and said with a smile, You ask me? Then how do I know? However, it has to be said that Hei Tong's body is really well deserved. Even Kai Tong, who is known as the King of Killers, can't bear Senju Starry Knight with that level of body. However, Hei Tong was so relaxed for the first time. On the other side, Sha, who just held a wedding ceremony today, is guarding the wedding room alone. After the wedding ceremony, shouldn't we enter the bridal chamber? But where is Sanju Starry Knight now? Siaka looked at the red pupil in front of her, and asked curiously, Xinai Sama should be with your sister now, aren't you really worried? Kai Trong lowered her head, thought about it carefully, 
and then her expression became relieved, actually, we are only sisters in name, and the time we really spend together is very limited, and every time we meet, we fight and kill, either you die or I live, so I think it would be pretty good if we could all stay by Xinai's side. Halfway through the speech, Chitong looked up at the night sky tonight, with some worry in his eyes. You must know that the younger sister Hai Tong is very stubborn, and it can even be said to be extremely extreme. Sanju Xinai would probably have a hard time taming his younger sister if he didn't use some extraordinary means. Fortunately, my sister's body has been tempered by drugs, and her immortal body should not be of great help to her. Under the same moonlight, the corners of the mouth of the black pupil who had become a wise face were drooling, because his mind was blank. After the experiment just now, Sanju Starry Knight finally confirmed one thing. The immortal body in Heitong's legend is indeed true. But this also made Sanju Xinai worried. Since the legend is true, it must be true that Heitong's dependence on drugs is also true. It seems necessary for Okaimaru to research an antidote. He didn't want his own children to be affected by this drug in the future. The next day, Sanju Xinai came to Jen's underground base early. Because I had to fight Danzo before, I didn't observe carefully. Looking carefully at this moment, the underground space, which is not considered bright, is unexpectedly large. It seems to be a huge hinterland formed by hollowing out the mountain. All kinds of real-time equipment are also very complete. It is a very good underground laboratory. When we came to Shimura Danzo's command room, Yin Snake and Yuakai Hobito were already waiting there. Yuan Yilin hid behind the two of them, and all Jen's subordinates stood below. At this moment, Yuakai Hobito has changed into Konoa's clothes, Hokage Ninja Village's forehead protector, and Anbu's unique mask. Sanju Xinai climbed onto the high platform, with a smile on the corner of his mouth and said with a smile, you are all Danzo's most loyal subordinates, and you should implement Danzo's philosophy. Surely you all know what Danzo is after, right? That's the Guardian Konoa. Mr. Danzo used his life to practice his beliefs. During the attack of foreign enemies, Danzo sacrificed himself to protect you two. From now on, this is your new leader. Sanju Xinai pointed to Ibito next to him, and introduced it to everyone in Gen. Leader, leader, leader. The crowd raised their arms and shouted, most of them are newcomers and few of them have heard of the name of the king. However, there are also some well-informed old people who are still very shocked when they hear that Abito is not dead. Unexpectedly, after so many years, Abito reappeared. It was simply too unbelievable. After explaining the appointment of Anbu, Sanju Xinai brought Okaimaru Abito and Yuan Yilin to the laboratory. I called you here today. Apart from appointing the leader of Gen, Zhao Hao, there is one more thing I want to discuss with you. Sanju Starry Knight paused, looked at Yuakai Abito. You should have heard about Renegan right? Yuakai Huobito didn't dare to hide. Actually, Nagato's ring again was opened by Yuakai Hu, and I put it on Nagato many years ago. Of course, this cannot be hidden from Sanju Starry Knight. Actually, you are willing to organize, I know all your actions. The hunting of tailed beasts has already had a very significant effect. If we can collect all nine heads in the shortest time, plus the ability of Rinnegan, I believe that Konoa can unify the entire ninja world in the shortest possible time. Chapter 214 Starry Knight's next plan. Want to start a war? Okaimaru asked. This time Sanju Xinai has a little recognition in his eyes. It is said that you are a technology madman, but I didn't expect your brain to be very useful. We put so much energy into researching impure world reincarnation. Don't you really think that we want those people to deliver food? Okaimaru blushed. He had asked more childish questions before, but he didn't expect Sanju Starry Knight's purpose to be even crazier than he imagined. Master Xinai, I don't really understand it. At present, the major ninja villages in the ninja world don't seem to have any enemies against Konoa. Are we going to start war of aggression? Yuakai Huobito voiced Okaimaru's question. Sanju Xinai smiled slightly, with deep meaning in his eyes, who said we're going to start a war with other ninja villages. We must know that this world is not only the ninja world, there is such a vast world beyond the sea that we need to explore. Moreover, somewhere in the world, there is a hidden world made of spiritual seeds. You must know that those forces are very mysterious. If we don't raise the combat power of our ninja world by 400 as soon as possible, I am afraid that sooner or later we will be enslaved by those forces. After listening to Senju Xinai's words, Okaimaru's expression was very surprised. Are those legends true? Yuakai Huobito's expression was serious, but he wasn't surprised. Abito, who has been running the Xiao organization secretly for so many years and has traveled to many countries, has seen too many strange things. The land beyond the sea, I have also heard of it. It's just that, does the world made of spiritual seeds really exist? Yuakai Huobito looked at Sanju Starry Knight with a puzzled expression. At this time, Sanju Xinai took out the unfinished Zanpei Kuto, sheath, remnant. This is a Zanpei Kuto, how do you feel? Okaimaru gazed at Zanpei Kuto, whom he had never seen before, with a special enthusiasm in his eyes. Spirit, Kaft, it's really a spirit child. I didn't expect that spirit particles could actually form real objects. Could this be a fairy weapon? Okaimaru is keen on scientific practice, 
and he also has a lot of research on the two legendary ninja tools of Jinjia or Jiao. In fact, the two ninja tools also contain a lot of spiritual power, but they will not be composed of 100% spiritual particles like this Zanpei Kuto. Can this kind of knife really cut people? Sanju Starry Knight handed Zanpei Kuto over. Try. Okaimaru took Sanpei Kuto with a flick. A sharp light blue light shadow unexpectedly appeared in the air. It's also amazing. This Zanpei Kuto seems to be full of power, but it seems to be sealed by something. Sanju Xinai expressed his satisfaction. This Zanpei Kuto is indeed sealed with power, but as a weapon composed of spirit particles, it should be comparable to those sage art. If this weapon is used, even the power of six paths can fight it. This is the world outside Ninja Village. If we don't improve our own strength, Sooner or later we will be punished. Only then did you Akai Hobito and Okaimaru you understand the importance of this matter. But what are we going to do? Senju Ksenai smiled, and turned back to the leader. Do you still remember the original purpose of the Akatsuki organization? Having captured so many tailed beasts, what is your purpose? You Akai Hobito dare not hide. Tsukiyomi. Infinite Tsukiyomi. Surprised, Abito began to be a little puzzled, but this is an illusion. Even if you gather all the tailed beasts and successfully cast infinite Tsukiyomi, it will only immerse all people in the world in an illusion. What's the use of it? Will and cloth? Sanju Ksenai explained patiently. This is an illusion, but when the illusion takes effect, it can also absorb everyone's power. This is the function of the sacred tree. But I don't intend to use this forbidden technique. What I want is to rule Ninja Village, not to destroy Ninja Village. If the chakra of everyone in the Ninja world is taken away, wouldn't the Ninja world cease to exist? I can use a compromise method. Use the power of six paths, reversely cast infinite Tsukiyomi and completely evacuate the power of the sacred tree. In this way, I will be able to improve my abilities the most. Without the sacred tree as a restriction, it would be easy to break through the limiter. You must know that the last big guy who broke through the limiter was the bald guy who likes running and fitness. If he can use the power of the divine tree to break through the restriction, then Prince Xinai is absolutely confident that he can gain a foothold in the three realms. Abito, you will follow your plan and continue to complete the plan with Black Zetsu. Okaimaru, continue to study impure world reincarnation and resurrect more powerful ninjas. In the near future, there will be a big battle. While Senju Staryoruichi made plans, the image of Otsutsuki Kaguya came to mind. I don't know what level of talent the child with Otsutsuki Kaguya will be. Think about it carefully. The two sons of Otsutsuki Kaguya are transformed from the seeds of the sacred tree, so they should not be sterile, right? If that's the case, wouldn't I be working in vain? Senju Starry Knight was somewhat worried. Dot. Chapter 215 Nagato Please bless me and Starry Knight. With plans for Sanju Starry Knight, Yokai Huabito returns to Akatsuki's headquarters. Nagata controlled Dan Dao Pain found Abito, and asked in a somewhat dissatisfied tone, You went to Konoa by yourself, did you hide something from me? Nagato, I think you have forgotten our identities. Although outsiders may see you as the leader of the Akatsuki organization, this is all because of my instruction. If we want to complete our grand plan, we must rely on my strategy. Yokai Huabito spoke very rudely and Nagato was choked speechless. Seeing that Nagato stopped talking, Yokai Huobito continued, I have a more perfect plan this time, but I just need a little help from you. Before the voice could finish, a figure appeared in the darkness. Senju Xinai came out slowly and came to Nagato. After seeing the person in front of him clearly, Shangman's expression was very surprised. It's you? You kidnapped Conan, and you dare to appear in front of me? Are you not afraid that I will kill you? Tan Dao Pain's cloak was automatic without wind and chakra all over his body became restless and comparably. The war is imminent. Nagato, stop quickly. A pleasant voice sounded, and Conan's figure appeared from behind Sanju Starry Knight. After seeing Conan, Nagato's expression became pleasantly surprised. Conan, are you okay? This guy didn't hurt you. Did he? Hearing Nagato's concern, Conan blushed. Looking back on the process at that time, it was really painful. It doesn't matter, Sanju Sinai has already healed the injury, and the bleeding stopped quickly, and there is no serious problem now. Upon hearing that Conan was bleeding, Nagato's expression became worried. Bleeding? This guy hurt you? I'll avenge you in a moment. Don't be like this, Nagato. Sanju Starry Knight didn't hurt me. I did everything voluntarily. The reason why I came here with him this time is because I'm afraid you will worry. Nagato obviously didn't understand what Conan meant. Conan, are you okay? Is this kid threatening you? Conan shook his head. Sanju Xinai didn't threaten me. I fell in love with him myself. Hearing this, Nagato's heart seemed to be hit hard. After so many years of getting along, he has actually long been used to Conan's company. But at this moment, their relationship seemed to come to an end. It seems that you have really found the man you like, and I wish you all the best. Discovering Nagato's loss, Conan couldn't help comforting him. Actually, you don't have to be sad. There is no banquet that never ends. I always treat you like a brother, and Yuhiko is the same. You are all my most important partners. Dot. Halfway through speaking, Conan looked at Sanju Xinai with affectionate A's. It's just that, from now on, I met a more important person. 
who is more important than my personal life. Obviously, he is Sanju Starry Knight. Sanju and I watched the whole process, and felt a little comforted after hearing Conan's confession. I didn't expect Conan to be so loyal to him. It seems that the sweat for so long is worth it. Everyone explained the misunderstanding, Yukai Huobito quickly got to the point. Actually, we came here this time because it is more important to have opinions. Nagato, you should still remember our plan? Nagato nodded, use the tailed beast to revive Jido statue, cast infinite Sakumi, and achieve real world peace. Yuakai Huobito smiled, yes, this is our original plan, but now the plan has changed a little bit. Zero looking for flowers. Looking at Sanju Starry Night, the two looked at each other, Yuakai Huobito continued, I went to Konoa this time to find a partner and Kianzi Xinai is the best candidate. We are responsible for summoning Jido statue and letting Senju Starry Knight collect tailed beasts. In the end we could actually skip resurrecting the real Madara. Nagato knew the plan from the beginning. The original plan was for Nagato to perform the Rin Tensai technique, so that Bowserba Madara could be brought back to life. It's just that in the battle of hunting nine tails, Nagato was persuaded by the mouth of a celebrity, and finally used this trick to resurrect everyone who died in the attack. Abito did not expect this to be the case. Now, however, with the addition of Sanju Starry Knight, Abito can finally break free from Yuakai Hamadara's grip. It is obviously a better choice to inherit from Sanju's bloodline as Tentails Jinchiriki. In order to calculate him, this Yuakai Hamadara even attacked the lower class. This is something Yuakai Abito will never forgive. Hearing Yuakai Abito's plan, Nagato was a little embarrassed. Have you forgotten Black Zetsu? Nagato has six paths Rinnegan and the ability to perceive naturally goes without saying. He knew the specific ingredients of Black Zetsu and White Zetsu from the very beginning. Yuakai Huobito even saw Black Zetsu as Yuakai Hamadara's will. Nagato's meaning is obvious. Here they secretly discuss plans to betray Yuakai Hamadara, if Black Zetsu overhears. The consequences are obviously incalculable. However, at this moment, Black Zetsu emerged from the shadow of the wall. Don't worry, I won't betray you. Halfway through speaking, Black Zetsu looked at Senju Starry Night. Isn't it? Dad 3? Chapter 216 I have never lost with my mouth. Abito and Nagato were almost taken aback by Black Zetsu's appearance. However, the dad that Black Zetsu called made everyone present break the defense directly. What's the situation? Isn't Black Zetsu the will of Yuakai Hamadara? How can Black Zetsu still call Senju Ksenai Papa? This is too unbelievable. Although everyone knows that Senju Starry Knight has many children, but after all, it has been working with Black Zetsu for so long. Senju Ksenai is such a young ninja. But he can have such a big boy as Black Zetsu. This is too unbelievable. Black Zetsu seemed to have also discovered Nagato and Abito's doubts. 8.30 Don't worry, I'm actually not Yuakai Hamadara's will. I was also controlled by his pupil technique before. It was Sanju Ksenai who saved me. Hearing this, Abito and Nagato gasped at the same time. There is still such a reason. Okay, now that everyone has cleared up the misunderstanding, it seems that we can proceed to the next step. Sanju Ksenai came in front of Nagato, looking at Nagato with pale hair and haggard figure. Sanju Ksenai smiled. The vitality of the Yuzumaki clan is very tenacious. Even so, you have been sucked into this. It seems that Rinnegan has placed a heavy burden on you. According to your current physical condition, I'm afraid it won't be long before you can't stand it anymore. Sanju Starry Knight paused, and found that Nagato's expression was a bit dignified, and there was some comfort in his tone. But you don't have to worry, as long as you replace Rinnegan, I am confident that you can heal your body. Only at this moment did Nagato fully understand Senju Ksenai's intentions. So you started out for my Rinnegan? At this time, Yuakai Huobito corrected it, let me correct it. In fact, this Rinnegan was opened by Yuakai Hamadara after he captured the Hashirama cells, and I transplanted it for you. Nagato's expression was a little surprised, it's you? In fact, it's not that Nagato feels nothing at all, it's just that he was still in the doubt stage before, but today he finally confirmed it. The establishment of the Xiao organization is also because you have been fueling the flames. Yuakai Huobito didn't intend to hide it. Yes, I used you before, but it was all Yuakai Hamadara's intention. If you want to blame you, blame Yuakai Hamadara. Nagato lowered his head, thoughtful in his heart, and Conan next to him also frowned. Sanju Ksenai saw that the atmosphere was a bit tense, so he stood up to adjust the atmosphere. Although the establishment of Akatsuki was Yuakai Huobito's plan, the destruction of your village was not Abito's design. If you think about it carefully, your village is caught between the great powers. It has been fighting for years since hundreds of years ago. It has always been a battlefield for the great powers to compete. The flames of war have never been extinguished for so many years. Abito is not very old now, even if someone really attacked your village, it should be Yuakai Hamadara. Senju Ksenai's words cleverly attracted hatred to Yuakai Hamadara. Of course, all this is not Senju Starry Night nonsense. There is still some basis behind it. Black Zetsu, who witnessed the whole conversation just now, admired Sanju even more from the bottom of his heart. Originally, I thought that my city mansion for so many years was already black-bellied enough, but I didn't expect that my cheap father would be even more ruthless when he fooled people. 
Obviously it was a plan to revive the mother Kaguya-ji, but in the eyes of Obito and Nagato, it can also evolve into two versions. Zero. It has to be said that Zixinai is the biggest fool. Anyway, what Senju Xinai said dispelled Nagato and Conan's hostility towards Obito. It seems that we have a common enemy now, let us work together to deal with the legendary Madara. What do you think? Black Zetsu reminded at this opportune moment. The atmosphere at the scene was relaxed again. Tell me about your plan. Nagato's tone became very calm. Sanju Starry Knight decided to explain to Nagato the legend of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki and the power of the Six Paths, and analyze the situation of the world in great detail. It was also the first time that Nagato heard that there are many strange worlds beyond the sea. There is a killer organization relying on technology. Germa. There is the sky pier of the gods of the kingdom above the clouds. There is a mermaid island under the sea. There is also the animal kingdom on the back of the sea giant elephant. There are all kinds of strange things. In addition to their present world, there are Hikamundo and Soul Society somewhere in the world 1.3. The fighting power in those places can only be countered by the power of six paths. Only by becoming ten tails Jinchuriki and activating the power of six paths can we raise the strength of our ninja world to a new level. Otherwise our chakra will have no way to cause damage to those enemies. After Sanju Xinai explained in detail, Nagato let out a long sigh. Since this is the case, I would like to contribute these eyes. Sanju Starry Knight was not surprised by this result. After all, Naruto also convinced Nagato through his mouth, and Sanju Xinai has never convinced anyone in terms of mouth skills. Dot. Chapter 217 My ninjutsu is great, bear with it. Don't rush now, I still have some preparations to do. After all, it will take some time to collect tailed beasts. Yugi's discuss the next step first, and I will go back first if I have something to do. In order to revive Eelin, it is necessary to cast the Revolving Heaven spell. Yuakai Huabuto is perfect for casting this forbidden technique. So Senju Starry Knight is not in a hurry to get Rinnegan back. Let's wait until everything is ready. After Senju Xinai left, Yuan Yilin followed behind. After returning to Konoha, Senju Xinai sent Yuan Yilin back to the guest room. After returning to his room, Senju Xinai was about to take a rest. But Hei Tong unexpectedly found him. Brother Xinai, I dot 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 I want to learn ninjutsu. Senju Xinai was a little puzzled seeing 20's black pupil twisting. You are a killer, what is the use of learning ninjutsu? Hei Tong lightly touched his index fingers with both hands. His expression very twitchy. I just think ninjutsu is amazing. If you can learn ninjutsu, you should be very handsome, right? Senju Xinai pampered Hei Tong's head, okay, then what kind of ninjutsu do you want to learn? Hei Tong's expression became even more embarrassed. He bit his lip slightly and murmured with a laugh, your partial doubling technique is very interesting. Senju Xinai smiled knowingly, so that's the case. He he, this ninjutsu is very good. Be patient. The next morning, Senju Xinai just woke up and found a very rich breakfast on the table. It seems that Kuroto has adapted to his ninjutsu. I didn't expect this little girl to have such a special attribute. No matter what kind of ninjutsu she performs, she can adapt. It's a perfect fit. After breakfast, Senju Starry Knight came to Okaimaru's laboratory. Unexpectedly, Okaimaru inside is about to cast impure world reincarnation. In the magic circle in the center of the hall, a white Zetsu knelt down on the ground. After seeing Senju Starry Knight, Okaimaru ran over with a flattering expression. Master Xenai, you came just in time. I have received a lot this time. Who are you looking at? Along with Okaimaru's seal, the magic circle on the ground began to emit a very dazzling light. After a while of operations, an unfamiliar face appeared in front of him. However, Relying on his excellent memory, Senju Xinai still recognized the identity of this person. Yi Kang, yellow and green hair, with a ball head tied up high. The figure with protruding front and back is uneven, and the dark green dress wraps a white waist. The lines of the whole person are very attractive, especially the extremely smooth back. It's a pity not to cup it. It has to be said that Yi Kang's appearance is still online. The only downside is that the brown pupils look extraordinarily gloomy. Moreover, as the body of impure world reincarnation, she is temporarily unable to bear children. It seems that she, like Lin, can have more in-depth exchanges for the time being. Okaimaru, you did a very good job this time, and you will continue to work hard in the future. After being praised, Okaimaru's expression was very touched. It is my honor to be recognized by Master Xinai. In fact, I still have a cell, but I don't know who it is yet. Okaimaru led Sanju Xinai to another magic circle. Imitate the process just now and do the same. After the light faded, Sanju Xinai smiled slightly again. He he. Okaimaru, it's you. Nearly doubled next month. The one summoned this time turned out to be Shiro from the Snow Clan. You must know that Yi Kang happens to be the limit of Scorch Style's blood successor, while Bei Ai is the limit of Ice Shield's blood successor. Isn't this a song of ice and fire? You must know that the two heavens of ice and fire are additional items. Need to add money, and now Sanju Starry Knight can experience the upgraded version for free. Doesn't this take off in place? After putting the two coffins back together, Sanju Xinai nodded. I really didn't misunderstand you, you are really my good helper. 
but let's not talk about it for the time being. Our plan needs to be accelerated. What I mentioned to you last time is the scientific ninja. How is your idea going? 110 Okimaru's expression was a bit perplexed after mentioning the scientific ninja tools. Master Xenai, the concept of scientific ninja tools seems to be a bit advanced. I have been researching impure world reincarnation, and I don't have time to study scientific ninja tools yet. Senju Xenai nodded with a disappointed expression on his face. As a new human who has experienced high-tech, Senju Xenai has witnessed the impact of technology on infrastructure. You must know that Iron Man relies on a miniature version of a nuclear reactor to create a super-powerful steel suit. After solving the energy supply, the power of technology can rise exponentially. Now that there are so many chakra in the ninja world, if this can make scientific ninja tools, the effect is unimaginable. When going to war with those Shinigami Quincy divisions, most of them have to count on these things. Okaimaru, impure world reincarnation can be put aside for now. The most important thing for you now is to develop scientific ninja tools. The breakthrough from zero to something is the most difficult, but I believe in your scientific research level. As long as you can concentrate on research and development, you will definitely achieve good results. Chapter 218 First Trial of Sanpei Kuto's Edge After coming out of Okaimaru's research institute, Sanjuks and I found that there was quite a disturbance in the village. What's happening here? Sanjuks and I caught a fleeing villager. The man looked very frightened, and after being caught, he was still yelling crazily, Demon. There are demons. Run for your life. After letting go of the villagers, Sanjuks and I turned his head to look in the direction of the crowd, with a puzzled expression on his face. Now Konoa's internal and external troubles have basically been resolved. How can there be such a big commotion? Squeezing against the flow of people, Kienzi Xenai suddenly discovered the devilish energy in the surrounding air. At the very center of the commotion, a bull-headed demon was running wildly. Sanju Yoruichi understood right away. Hash. The demon inside Kairuma Yakumo almost forgot about this little girl. As the eldest lady of the Kuruma family, Kuruma Yakumo not only inherited the family's illusion ability, but also inspired the demon Ido in his body. In fact, the demon in Kuruma Yakumo's body has always been very unstable, but because of his frailty and sickness, Konoa protected him. Unexpectedly, this time he suddenly went berserk. It seems to have received some stimulation. After figuring out the situation, Senju Xinai decided to experiment with his own Zanpei Kuto sheath. You must know that Zanpei Kuto is definitely a weapon composed of a collar, which can directly cause damage to the soul. Although it is only an unfinished version at the moment, it does not have such powerful additional attributes. But it is definitely enough to kill Yadu. At this time Senjutsu Nade and Yuhong appeared. Yakumo, I'm your teacher Yuhong, don't you know me? Yuhong cautiously confronted the raw demon. Senjutsu Nade saw Senju Starry Knight for the first time, with a pleasant expression on his face. Why are you here? Kuruma Yakumo suddenly ran away. It would be a disaster if the demon in his body broke through the seal and came to reality. Don't worry. I have my own measure. Senju Xenai looked calm and confident. However, with Tsunade's reminder, Senju Xenai suddenly remembered something. This demon named Ida does not seem to come from myths and legends, but seems to be an illusory creature imagined by Kuruma Yakumo himself. Because the illusion of the Kuruma family can turn hallucinations into reality, we can judge based on these. This so-called Ido should be a demon who escaped from Kuruma Yakumo's illusion. From this point of view, this so-called Ido seems to have some strength. But in any case, even if it is a real creature transformed from an illusion. He is also a soul form after all. Sanju Xenai walked towards Ido carrying Zanpei Kuto. Kuruma Yakumo in devil form looked at Senju Hoshi Yoruichi disdainfully, and said with a smile, GGG, I'm a demon from another world. How can a bunch of stupid humans fantasize against me? At this time, all members of the Kuruma family are impulsive to persuade Senju Xenai not to stop. This Ido is a demon in the legend of my pommel horse family, and there is no way to destroy it with ordinary weapons. The only way to solve the crisis is to rely on Yakuma's own will. Seeing that Senju Xenai was holding an ordinary steel knife in his hand, Yuehong stood up. Xenai, your human sword is useless against demons in spirit form, why don't you let me enlighten Yakumo? I believe that she will be able to defeat the demons with her willpower. Senju Xenai's expression was very calm touched the blade of the sword and said, who said my sword is a human sword? While Kairuma Yui does have the ability to lure Kuruma Yakumo to destroy the demons, Senju Xenai mainly wants to try the effect of Zanpei Kuto. If you want to deal with the upcoming soul society, you can't do it without preparing in advance. Regardless of everyone's obstruction, Senju Xenai just slashed with one hand at will, without any fancy special effects. Seeing Senju Xenai's attack, everyone's emotions collapsed in an instant. If the demon Ido is angered, wouldn't Konoa village be in bad luck? Even Yidu watched Senju Xenai's movements with disdain, and watched the blade cut towards him. But Fodu didn't intend to dodge. As I said, as a spirit body, physical attacks are ineffective. Let my uncle demonstrate it to you. However, in the next second, the blade slashed across Yidu's body, 
and countless rays of light burst out instantly. The blooming light instantly filled the entire world. Yi Du, Zhao Hao's originally confident expression suddenly became extremely fearful. This. This is impossible. You kid, dare to hurt my uncle? My uncle will not let you go. Seeing what happened in front of them, everyone in the Kruma family was stunned. No one knows Ido better than the Kruma family. You must know that this is a demon from another dimension. Although it is a demon that has been concretized by Kairumi Yakumo's illusion, its strength is not much smaller than the main body. And Senju Xinai killed him in seconds with such an ordinary knife. This strength is too terrifying. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Yid turned into thousands of fragments and finally dissipated in the empty beam. Chapter 219, Holy Text Z Zombie Giselle. Yu Hong looked terrified. Karamo Yakumo is her student. If something happens, she will feel sorry. Fortunately, Senju Starry Knight is also very strong. Just when everyone breathed a sigh of relief, they found a crack appeared in the air out of thin air. Yidu's familiar breath struck again. Senju Xenai frowned slightly, and said with a smile, Black cavity, interesting. Interesting. The black cavity that Senju Xinai just mentioned is actually the dimensional crack that leads to the present world from the Soul Society. However, it wasn't Soul Society's Shinigami who appeared in the black cavity. It was a beautiful woman in a white uniform. Although it looks harmless to humans and animals, it looks like a little girl. However, those restless spirits around them made everyone around them uncontrollably terrified. This dot 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 is this a new demon? Looking at the incredible 180 degree scene in front of them, everyone present couldn't believe their eyes. Could it be that this demon was also transformed by that girl from the Kruma family? I didn't expect to leave Yidu and come here again. Seeing this person's face clearly, Senju Xenai smiled. Giselle Jewel. It's actually you. Giselle Jewel, who jumped out of the black cavity, looked a little surprised. Nay I, you can actually call me by my name. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Senju Xenai nodded. Your invisible empire is hidden in the shadow of the Soul Society, and I, Kono a village, is a relatively remote mountainous area in this world. It's normal if you haven't seen me. Oh, then why can you call me by my name? Jai Seljuel asked her own question. Senju Xenai had a confident smile on the corner of his mouth. Not only your name, but I also know your abilities, even your gender. When the gender was mentioned, Giselle Jules' face changed drastically, and she said angrily, Although I don't know who you are, but since you have provoked me, you must be prepared to be tortured by me. While Giselle Jules was talking, she didn't know when she had a Zanpei Kuto in her hand. After aiming at Xenai in hand, he laughed and said, Although your strength is very weak, but your appearance is in line with my aesthetics, I will make an exception and let you, a weak chicken, become your servant. After a tease, Jai Seljuel raised the Zanpei Kuto in her hand and let out a loud shout, Come out, my lovely zombie. Just as the voice fell, a figure appeared on the scene. Matsumo Taraniku, Bambietta, and then there's Gage's catnipe. Seeing this, Sanjuk Sinai almost laughed out loud. This kid Yadu is really nice. He gave me such a big gift before he died. Although it has long been known that Matsumo Taraniku is the famous press god in Shinigami, I did not expect that a real person looks more alluring. Although due to zombification, her skin color is a bit dark, but because the surface is very smooth, this style has a touch of freshness. Gaddis Catnip, who is already bold in her dressing style, the body of impure world reincarnation is definitely incapable of pregnancy. Gdad, just does not know whether the maid can conceive. Boy, you know my name, but I don't know your name yet, so how should I name you after I become a zombie? Senju Starry Knight. Senju Xenai's expression was indifferent, and he didn't want to talk nonsense. Jai Seljul got a little angry, okay, Senju Starry Knight right? I advise you not to play tricks. If you have any tricks, just choose them. Jai Seljul is still very confident in her abilities. Needless to say, there are three more zombie subordinates at this moment. However, what happened next was probably far beyond his cognition. Senju Xenai smiled and said, I heard that your ability is to summon zombies. Coincidentally, me too. Senju Staryoruichi seals seals while speaking. Forbidden technique. Impure world reincarnation. After the sealing was completed, Tanzik Sinai let out a loud cry. Three huge coffins emerged from the ground, Yuan Yilin, Yi Kang, Bei Ai, and three bodies from impure world reincarnation appeared in front of everyone's eyes. This is where, aren't I already dead? Who summoned me? Yi Kang and Bei Ai didn't know what happened, so Yuan Yilin explained it to them. So it's the forbidden technique that summons the dead from the underworld? I didn't expect that after death, I would be forced to fight. It's so sad. Bei Ai's expression was a little sad, although he was somewhat reluctant. Bei still couldn't help making movements. Chakra, the prisoner of the Snow Clan, bloomed instantly, and light snowflakes floated up. Yi Kang frowned slightly. Sure enough, I don't like the cold even if it's a dead body. Secretly mobilizing Xi boundary, Scorch style Yi Kang's body began to emit bursts of heat. As for Yuan Yilin, she wasn't very strong, but she did three tails Jin Churiki before she died. At this moment, although there is no three tails in the body, but ten parts of the Chairman Yankla are attained. After Rokai Maru's improvement, 
Yuanyulin at this time can be transformed into a tailed beast. Feeling the powerful chakra of the three women, Jai Seljul was completely confused. What's the situation? Chapter 220 Zombie? I have zombies too. Jai Seljul is not familiar with the abilities of the ninja world at all, and it is the first time I have seen it in impure world reincarnation. Interesting, really interesting. Before the words were finished, Bei and Yi Kang issued Bing Dun and Scorch style at the same time. The incomparably hot sand fire rain and the bitingly cold snow ice blades were sent out at the same time, and they bombarded towards Giselle Jewel's position together. Giselle Jewel didn't expect that the opponent would attack from a long distance, so even if the blood was soaring, it would not be able to reach the opponent. You, you foul. Giselle Julie yelled angrily, yelled with a thought. Matsumoto Ranika cast Hainko's Shikai, and the silver sand transformed from the blade floated in the air, forming an airtight sword net. Bombata used Hainko's silver sand to pour the power of explosion into her Uruska's Yuba's ninjutsu. Boom. A huge explosion resounded through the sky. What's going on here? The Konoha Jonins who heard the movement rushed to the scene together and found the enemy in front of them. Everyone was surprised. What's happening here? Clearly unable to perceive Chakra, it can create such a powerful explosion. This is unbelievable. Might Guy stood up. They dare to destroy my Konoha, let me let them taste my youth. Might Guy directly turned on the blue beast mode. Eight inner gates, seventh gate, open. Let me experience the strength of the invaders. Without saying a word, Mike Guy rushed directly to Giselle Rongel. Unexpectedly, just as he was about to touch Giselle Julie, Sanju Xinai stopped Mike Guy. A new enemy is coming, and Sanju Starry Knight definitely doesn't want any accidents with Mike Guy, a top force that can hurt six paths Madara. Don't be impulsive, this person's ability is very special, as long as she is contaminated with her blood, she will become her zombie. It's good that Sanju Xinai didn't explain. But after this explanation, everyone didn't understand even more. Touch blood and turn into a zombie? What ninjutsu is this? Could it be a special blood inheritance limit? Everyone was discussing. Might Guy didn't dare to act trashly even though he couldn't understand what Sanju Xinai was talking about. Seeing the distance between everyone and him, Giselle L was very uneasy. Who are you? Why are you so clear about my abilities? You can also summon zombies. So are you also His Majesty Fehaba's Quincy Master? What is the sacred text that His Majesty bestowed upon you? How come I haven't seen you? Jai Selju L directly became curious baby. Senju Xinai smiled, I am not a Quincy Master, and you're all-knowing and omnipotent Yuhabush is not qualified to give me a gift. Me. Konoa Shinobi Village, Hokage Ninja, Senju Senju, Senju Starry Knight. Giselle Julie was stunned. She has lived in the Invisible Empire since she was a child where there are ninjas and ninjutsu. Since you have brought me such a good gift, I can save you from torture. Before Giselle Julie could react, Wang Xinai directly flashed a flying thunder god in front of Jixi and Jurong Air. I don't know when the sheath, remnant, in my hand began to be sent into Giselle Jewel's body. You dot 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 you actually. Before the words were finished, Giselle Rong Air completely fell. Losing the control of Giselle Jewel, Matsumoto Raniku, Bambietta, and Gade's Catnight regained consciousness in an instant. Looking at the crowd in front of them, the three of them were a little confused. This is where, dot 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 ask for flowers. Aren't we fighting in the Soul Society? At this time, Matsumoto Raniku noticed the two Quincy around him. You are the Quincy masters. Bambietta was very impressed with Monogatari and reminded, Sister Shinigami, I think it is necessary to remind you that we are not in Soul Society right now. Also, it appears that someone killed Giselle Jewel so we could be free again. So I suggest that we better figure out the current situation before we talk about it. It's really worthy of Bang Bang Sauce. The analysis is too reasonable. But who is our enemy? All the girls looked at Sanju Xinai in unison. Facing everyone's eyes, Sanju Xinai looked over with a calm expression. So many female zombies came at once, it's really distressing. You must know that zombies cannot conceive, and you have been working hard. But you can't see the pain of gaining, can you understand? Matsumoto Raniku and Bambietta looked at each other and decided to temporarily turn enemies into friends and fight against Sanju Starry Knight together. After seeing their intentions, Sanju Xinai certainly wouldn't give them this chance. Sage Art. The tree world comes. The huge fairy chakra fell from the sky in an instant. After chakra surrounded the three female zombies on the scene, the spores in the air directly took route and germinated. In just an instant, the surroundings turned into a small ancient forest. The descent of the tree realm cast by Sage Art chakra possesses a magical toxin. It can paralyze people's nerves without causing harm to the body. After subduing the three female zombies, Sanju Xinai wiped his sweat. It seems that the progress must be accelerated, otherwise there will be more and more female zombies, and my body will not be able to bear it. You know, whether it's impure world reincarnation or the female zombie, neither of them will get tired. Dot. Chapter 221, Interrogating the Three Women Overnight After tidying up the scene, Sanju Xinai was about to go home, but was stopped by the recovered Kuromo Yakumo. Brother, thank you for saving me today. 
This flower is for you. Sanjuks and I looked back and found Karamoya Kumo with his head down and a very shy expression. Unexpectedly, Karamoya Kumo, who is so shy and even a little inferior, would take the initiative to send flowers to himself. This is very strange. Miss Karama, thank you for the flower, which is as beautiful as you. After being praised, Karamoya Kumo, who was originally shy, was speechless with excitement, his little face was flushed, and he kept jumping. Before he could say May 47 inches, he turned around and ran away. Sanjuk Sinai smiled playfully. If I remember correctly, this little girl can control people's five senses through illusion, which is similar to the weak conversion of distinguished heavenly gods. This talent is good. Unlike changing the subconscious, Karamoya Kumo only controls the five senses of a person, that is to say, the subconscious of the controlled person is still conscious, but he cannot control his body. In other words, if you can master this talent, Sanju Starry Knight can experience a different gameplay from distinguished heavenly gods. But the most important thing now is to go back and interrogate the information. Anbu. In the interrogation room, Matsumoto Raniku, Gades, and Bambiette knelt side by side on the ground. Sanju Sinai pushed open the door and entered, and Sunny immediately stole hateful glances. What the hell are you going to do to us? Hesitating that the pair of little white rabbits were too big, Matsumoto Raniku just spoke a little louder, and the little white rabbits started jumping restlessly. Sanjuk Sinai couldn't help laughing and said, It is said that Matsumoto Raniku is Shinigami's number one milk god, and his milk volume is comparable to the legendary medical patient Sanjutsu Nade. Today Shima really lives up to his reputation. Bambietta was full of anger, and cursed, You are so brave, you dare to oppose our Quincy master, our Yuhabush will not let you go after graduation. Sanjuk Sinai didn't take this threatening words to heart at all. If your majesty Yuhabush knew that you were captured here, I'm afraid he would personally understand you too trash. Bambietta was immediately too frightened to talk back. Because what Sanjuk Sinai said is right, His Majesty Yuhabush will not show mercy to waste. Gritting her silver teeth tightly, Geodizzi said unwillingly, If Gigi hadn't been turned into a zombie, I would have been able to finish you off. With my original abilities, Sanjuk Sinai just smiled, Hee hee, you still know that you are a zombie? Halfway through the speech, Sanjuk Sinai raised his hand to caress Katie's pink-green long hair, and continued to laugh, as we all know. Zombies are no longer living people, in other words, you are all corpses now, do you think I am should find a furnace to spark you too? Speaking of this, Sanju stared at Bambietta with staring eyes, Bangbietta Basta is married, I heard that you are very good at making explosions. Bambietta didn't dare to look into Sanju Xinai's eyes, and Kianzi Xinai didn't intend to continue molesting the three girls in front of her, I have limited time and I don't want to talk nonsense with you. Tell me. How far has your Millennium Bloody Battle progressed? Have you already reached the Lingwen Palace? Bambietta and Gades couldn't help laughing, since you know this, why don't you let us go? Don't make His Majesty Juhabush angry. Bambietta's temper is too hot. Ten minutes Xinai decided to teach her a lesson. Wood style. Cork technique. The three corks that appeared out of nowhere directly bet on Bambietta's mouth. Crack. It's up to you. Senju Xinai looked at Gades. Gades is obviously milder than Bambietta, mainly because of the lessons learned by Bambietta. How dare she give up? Return dot 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 to my lord. Yuhabush has already killed the Spirit King Palace with his personal guards after all, and he may have entered the Spirit King Palace at this moment. Oops. What Senju Xinai was most worried about happened. After traveling for so long, he has already seen through the logic of this world, be it the world of Shinigami, or the world of sailing. It was as if they were somehow being involved in the same thing. The ninja world is obviously the sacred tree. Otsatsuki is also a demon god from another world, and the sacred tree is the key to open this world. Not only that, but the god summoned as ten tails Jinchuriki are the pillars of the 2.1 ratio world. Its power is connected with the entire ninja world. That's why the Otsatsuki family can absorb the power of the whole world through the sacred tree. As for the spirit king who is the pillar of the three realms, I am afraid that the effect will be the same as that of the divine tree. It's just that the soul king is the pillar that supports the soul society, Kumundo, and the present world. As for the nautical world, it's clearly an epis treasure. Although the veil of an epis has not been lifted, Gainzik Sinai has basically confirmed the role of this Anepis. Unexpectedly, Yuhabush had already entered the Lingwen Palace, and it seemed that he should speed up his progress. Dot. Chapter 222 This BT should let you be. If you are the first to let Yuhabush enter the palace of the Spirit King and successfully seize the power of the Spirit King, Jabak's form will evolve into omniscience and omnipotence. At that time, it will be difficult to do something by yourself. Sanju Starry Knight decided to go to Okaimaru to study countermeasures first. As for Matsumoto Raniku and the others, we can come back and have an in-depth exchange. But Sanju Xinai suddenly thought of a novel thing. Since these zombies are dead, what would happen if their cells were used for impure world reincarnation? With this question in mind, Sanju Starry Knight came to Okaimaru's laboratory. In the laboratory, because the technology is still being researched. After seeing Sanju Starry Knight, Okaimaru approached with a flattering smile. My lord, you came just in time, 
Please accept my results. Under the guidance of Okaimaru, Tanzik Singyi came to a laboratory. On the table inside was a set of shiny armor. My lord, this is a protective armor tailored for ordinary ninjas by me. Even a genin with average strength can exert extremely powerful power through this armor. Sanju Starry Knight picked it up and tried it, and it really contained an astonishing amount of chakra. My lord, this kind of armor only needs to be worn on the body, and then matched and activated with its own chakra so that the control of the armor can be realized. Sanjuk Sinai put on the armor and tried it out, and as expected, he easily sent out a fireball technique when he raised his hand. Okaimaru's expression is full of anticipation, and he seems to be very satisfied with this work. However, Sanjuk Sinai frowned slightly. Okaimaru, you may have misunderstood. What I asked you to make is not this kind of children's toy. Okaimaru was stunned, but my lord, in the middle of the conversation, Sanjuk Sinai interrupted. Okaimaru, you may not have any idea of the upcoming crisis and the opponent we have to deal with this time is also quite different from usual. This kind of thing is okay for ordinary people to hunt, but it is really not enough to face future enemies. Let me give you an inspiration. Sanjuk Sinai took off the gauntlet part of this set of armor, and carefully injected his fire attribute chakra into the cylinder above the forearm. The chakra that escaped from the body did not dissipate immediately, but entrenched in the cylinder and rotated rapidly. Okaimaru, I will only demonstrate it once, and I can understand it with your understanding and character. As soon as the words fell, Sanjuk Sinai directly ignited the fire attribute chakra in the cylinder, and then launched it with the help of wind attribute chakra. Boom. Where the drum pointed, it exploded instantly. The lethality was as great as a cannon, and Okaimaru stared blankly. Sanjuk Sinai continued to explain at this time, what I want you to develop is this kind of thing that can increase your strength, not the kid's toy just now, understand? Don't worry, my lord, I will make a scientific ninja tool that satisfies you. Sanjuk Sinai encouraged, keep working hard. Our time is running out. By the way, is the Rinnegan transplant done? Okaimaru replied, it has just been completed, and it is still in the restoration stage. Senjuk Sinai nodded, okay, I see, this matter will be left for now, I have something else to trouble you. While talking, Senjuk Sinai waved his hand and released Matsumoto Raniku and their three daughters on the ground. Can you spot the difference between these people? Senjuk Sinai asked. Okaimaru observed for himself, with a slightly surprised expression, these people are actually dead. Senjuk Sinai smiled. As expected of Okaimaru, I saw the clue at a glance. At the same time, Sanjuk Sinai took a little tissue from each of the three women and released the giant white Zetsu. These three women are already dead, if their cells are used for impure world reincarnation, what will be the effect? After hearing Sanju Starry Knight's question, Okaimaru couldn't answer it, because he doesn't know either. Until this moment, Okaimaru felt more and more that the title of number one BT in Konoha should be given to Sanju Starry Knight. Master Sinai, I don't know the specific effect. It seems that I can only try it. 797. Forbidden Technique. Impure World Reincarnation. Okaimaru has now been able to cast Triple Impure World Reincarnation simultaneously. With the completion of the Mantra Seal, the magic circle around the three white Zetsu shines brightly. A burst of brilliance flashed, Matsumoto Raniku, Bambietta, and Gade's three women twitched in pain. Then in the next second, it was directly torn into pieces. The great pain caused the three girls to scream horribly. A moment later, the three daughters in the form of impure world reincarnation reappeared. Except for the dirty grey-brown eyes, the skin on his body has turned into the same color as ordinary people. After opening her eyes, Bambietta was furious. Send you starry night. You actually made this girl suffer so much pain, believe it or not. I'll blow you up. While speaking, Pieta directly turned into the Eucharist form. The huge Riatsu shot out, covering the whole world. Okaimaru looked stunned. This. This power is simply terrifying. Chapter 223. I will take good care of Lin. Does such power really exist in the world? Until this moment, Okaimara finally knew why Sanjuk Sinai wanted to develop scientific ninja tools by himself. But how did Sanjuk Sinai subdue such a powerful Bambiator? Just thinking about it casually for a year, I was immediately startled by the snake. Even being able to suppress such a powerful force, the strength of my own master is too terrifying. Okaimaru, you can use this woman's power to conduct research and use his spiritual power to make scientific ninja tools. The effect must be very good. Bambietta was completely angry. I have completed the transformation of the Eucharist, and you still ignore me? It seems that I have to teach you a lesson. Bambietta was about to strike, but she found that she couldn't move at all. The body doesn't listen. What's going on here? Hey hey hey, what did you do to me? Looking at Okaimaru's eager expression, Bambietta was a little scared. However, Sanjuk Sinai has no time to continue playing with them. Okaimaru, you draw their spirit seeds as soon as possible, as the system of impure world reincarnation. They should have a steady stream of spirit seeds to provide. It can be regarded as a perpetual motion machine. After ordering the Matu here, Zixing decided to go to Yuakai Huabato. He needs to create the sacred tree before Juhabush becomes perfect. Sanjuk Sinai left the laboratory, found Yuakai Huabato, 
and found that he was indeed wrapped in bandages. After sensing the chakra of Senju Starry Night, Yukai Huobito took the initiative to remove the bandage. The pair of unique eyes of reincarnation instantly appeared in front of his eyes. Master Xenai, according to your instructions, and Bu and the Akatsuki organization are dispatched together. All the nine-tailed beasts have been hunted, and Rinnegan is also ready to perform the Rin Tensai technique at any time tilde. Sanju stared at Yukai Huobito with an approving look. Good job Abito, wait for me to get ready to gather Yuanilin and the others together, and then I can resurrect them. Yuakai Huobito's expression was a little hesitant, and this short hesitation made Sanju Xinai notice it. What's the matter? Are you worried about Yuanilin? Don't worry, I will take good care of her for you. Yuakai Huobito wanted to say something more, but finally gave up. Thank you Starry Knight, after I get used to Rinnegan, I can use Rin Tensai technique at any time. Well, you should rest more these two days. It just so happens that Okaimaru needs some time to accumulate spirit particles. After Senju Xinai explained the matter here, he was about to communicate with Yihi and Bai in depth. However, he met a familiar figure on the way. Mizukich. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be Mizukich lava style Trumim. Today's Trumim is wearing the iconic black silk net stockings, and the low cut and high fork robe can't hide her explosive figure at all. Did you come to see me for something? Senju Xinai asked indifferently. Trumim smiled and said, I heard that Konoa and Akatsuki have contacts, so I came here to check. When Senju Xinai heard the words, he understood in an instant. When the Akatsuki organization just started, the legendary third Mizuki Jigura was controlled by the Akatsuki organization. So there is a grudge between Kirigaku and Akatsuki. However, Senju Xinai didn't take it seriously. I don't know what Xiao organization you are talking about, and I have never seen it before. Is there any mistake in your news? Teruimim snorted coldly. I still want to quibble, my spies clearly saw the masked man from the Akatsuki organization freely entering and leaving Konoa, what else do you have to say? Mask man? Senju Xinai reacted, but immediately knew she was talking about Dai Wang. Oh, you said that person. He is the new leader of my Konoa and Bu. What Senju Xinai said was not a lie, but Teruimim just didn't believe it. It seems that you really want to fight with me. Then let the horse come over. Senju Starry Knight is ready for sage mode and can be activated at any time. However, Trumim did not cast lava style directly. It seems that he wants to explore his own reality. I saw Trumim directly approaching Senju Starry Knight with Kanai. The speed is far beyond ordinary people. Fortunately, it's Mizukage, and history should not be underestimated. But are you really not going to cast lava style? If you hide your strength, you will be killed by me in seconds. Although he was a bit reluctant, Gainzi Xenai still wanted to tease Trumim. After a few rounds of Zhao's, Trumim had to succumb. It seems that you are also very capable. So don't blame me for trying my best. Lava style middle dot star breaker. The dissolving acid with bursting properties is sprayed out directly, which is extremely viscous and has super strong adhesion. Where the dissolved acid shrinks, there are bursting mucus everywhere. Thanks to Senju Xenai's timely response, he was not swallowed by the mucus, but the acid did surround him tightly. You don't think this is over, do you? Break me. After a succinct finish, the US military launched a big explosion of lava style. Boom. A violent explosion soared into the sky in an instant surrounding Sanju Starry Knight in the center. Dot. Chapter 224, I advise you to save effort. Seeing the flames flying all over the sky, Teruimim felt a little regretful. Such a handsome little brother, if he uses this level of lava style from the very beginning, will it be too heavy-handed? In fact, he came here this time just to confirm whether the rumors are true. If people were beaten to death as soon as they came up, wouldn't they? At this time, the mist gradually dispersed and the figure of Sanju Starry Knight reappeared in place. Not even an iota of movement. Only then did Trumim realize that she was thinking too much. It seems that Sanju Starry Knight is not so easy to die. I didn't expect you, Ms. Yukij sama to be so enthusiastic. As soon as you came up, I felt your enthusiasm. Sanju Xinai smiled playfully, but Trumim was a little uneasy. I still have the energy to make sarcastic remarks. It seems that I shouldn't show mercy to you just now. Boil style. Artful fog technique. While speaking, Trumim has already switched to another blood succession limit. This is Chakra, a perfect combination of the two natural opposites of water and fire. With these 997 forms combined for a short time, water and fire are not in harmony. Once touched by an external force, a strong rejection reaction will inevitably erupt. When used with extremely strong acid, the corrosiveness is absolutely unimaginable for ordinary people. If I remember correctly, when the five cages were meeting, this skillful fog technique could corrupt Suzu's existence. Sanju Xinai didn't dare to be careless immediately. Too enthusiastic, too enthusiastic. It seems that I have to respond to your enthusiasm. With a thought, a thousand miles of starry night began to gather the immortal chakra, sage art, Mingxinman. Accompanied by a loud shout, a huge red Doria gate fell from the sky, and then the position of the gate turned into a red enchantment. This was originally a very powerful sealing technique, 
back then even Jado stature could easily control it, it's just that Senju Starry Knight changed some usage when it was here. Sabi turned the original sealing technique into a defensive technique. The level of the sage art enchantment formed by this doming shinman must be higher than the boil style of the Xji boundary. Teruimim saw the defensive enchantment cast by Senju Xenai, and immediately smiled with disdain. Senju Xenai, I'm afraid you are thinking too much this time, don't you really think that an enchantment of this level can defend against my acid garden? Do you know what kind of strength cage level blood inheritance boundary is? I advise you not to take it hard. Senju Xenai didn't care about Trumim's good words at all. With a playful smile on the corner of his mouth, he joked, What? Will you kill me? When Senju Xenai said this, Trumim blushed a little. You must know that at her age, she can't help but think of getting married. Especially when seeing such a handsome guy as Senju Xenai, the first reaction is to consider whether it is suitable for marriage. Now being teased by Senju Xenai, she blushed directly. Although Senju Xenai was teasing, he was not prepared to dodge. The mere lava style, in front of his sage art myojinman, is really not enough. Just when the acid from Kiao technique was about to touch the barrier of myojin gate, an incredible scene happened. Kiao technique directly touched the myojin gate, but the strong acid evaporated in the next second. Under Trumim's gaze, Kiao Yuan technique's water and fire attributes reacted violently. The thick smoke and dust hit the shield of myojin gate and dissipated instantly. Terumim couldn't believe her eyes. What's happening here? There is really someone in the entire ninja world who can resist my skillful mist technique? Does this level of ninjutsu really exist? Senju Xinai kindly reminded, let me correct it, my myojinman is not ninjutsu, but senjutsu. Only then did Terumim figure it out. It turns out it's a fairy technique, so that makes sense. However, if it's just defense, I'm afraid you can't defeat me, right? Teruimim's hand seals quickly, and then casts the lava style middle dot solving monster technique. However, when Teruimim was making seals, Senju Hoshiya predicted this ninjutsu in advance through the order of seals. The seal order is Xuhaiyin Chuzuyu. I have to say that you are really naive. Senju Xenai had a helpless smile on the corner of his mouth. The idea of Teruimim in front of me is indeed a bit simple. The boil style just now has the dual attributes of water and fire but the current melt channel has the dual attributes of water and king. In the final analysis, they are all that ninjutsu based on the attribute chakra, and their characteristics are burn or corrosion. And Senju Starry Knight's Myogen Gate can block all external forces chakra. Tailed Beast is a collection of chakra, and the chakra contained in it is absolutely incomparable to any ninja. Not to mention the chakra that ten tails is a fusion of the five natures of the nine tailed beasts. It is necessary to know that it is not enough to transform chakra into any attribute. Even so, it is not easy to break away from my Ojinman, not to mention Mizukage's lava style and boil style. I advise you to save your energy, my ninjutsu is above yours, and these ninjutsu alone cannot break through my defense. Chapter 225, I'm blooming. Although Senju Xenai kindly reminded her, Teruimim didn't seem to hear it. The monster dissolving technique directly touched the Myojin gate, and evaporated on the spot in the next second. The mixed chakra of water and soil exploded in an instant, forming a large swath of smog on the spot. However, Trumium did not intend to stop, and changed to a water-style middle dot water dragon bomb, followed by a water column. You must know that this is an ninjutsu that can suppress the fire. The level is not low. However, water-style is water-style after all. Even lava-style and Buddhism cannot harm Sanju Starry Knight. Not to mention the simple water-style. After displaying various water-styles one after another, Sanju Xinai was surprised to find that his surroundings were filled with mist. Hee <laughs> hee, so this is your purpose. In an environment where masters are dueling, Trumim continuously performed various ninjutsu to fill the surrounding air with enough water mist, steam and smoke. Send you starry night, it seems that you were careless this time, but you should have noticed earlier. While Trumim was talking, she also launched an attack. Let me use physical skills to end you. In her opinion, if Senju Xenai's ninjutsu is so powerful, his taijutsu must be his weakness. But she guessed wrong again. I saw Trumim kicked Senju Xenai's shoulder, but was caught by the backhand, grasping the snow white thighs with long sleeves. Senju Xinai couldn't help but glanced at the middle, and then smiled, you don't really think my physical skills are weak? Wood Styles Super Regeneration, find out. After being reminded by Senju Starry Knight, Trumim realized how big a mistake she made. That's right, since he is a Wood Style Ninja, how could his physical skills be weak? When Trumim reacted, it was already too late. Her snow white and smooth thighs were held by others, no matter how hard she struggled, she couldn't get rid of the control. Girls can't easily raise their legs especially when they wear skirts. In order to teach Trumim a profound lesson, Senju Starry Knight went straight to it. The smooth touch came from the hands, and the place where the skin touched felt extremely soft. As we all know, Yumizukij Trumim is a famous old leftover girl. TSK TSK TSK. It's hard to imagine that no one knows how to appreciate such superb thighs. Senju Starry Knight felt a little reckless in an instant. Hearing Senju Xinai's words, Trumim was poked in pain. Others don't know how to appreciate it. 
so you can't blame me. I'm already wearing black silk stockings, what else do I need? Ms. Yukich Tumim hates hearing about leftover women the most, and she doesn't even want to hear about getting married. Unexpectedly, Sanjuk Sinai exposed her background directly. Sanjuk Sinai, I advise you to let me go right away. Otherwise, I, Kirigakure, will not let you go. This time Sanjuk Sinai laughed himself, I advise you to figure it out. This time you sneaked into our Konoa village. If someone knows that Ms. Yukich sneaked into Konoa village, how do you explain your motives? Yukonoa colluded with the Akatsuki organization, isn't that enough? Sanjuk Sinai heard the words, just smiled lightly, and asked back, you must know that the Akatsuki organization and Yok Irigakura are inextricably linked. This is known to the five major countries, and it seems that the Akatsuki organization has conducted experiments in Yok Irigakura for a long time. Even the fourth Ms. Yukijigura was controlled by the Akatsuki organization. Even if someone colludes with the Akatsuki organization, I'm afraid it's you, Kirigakure, dot 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 asking for flowers, dot 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 zero. Tumim was stunned speechless, but dot 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 but my Kirigakure spies clearly saw the masked man from the Akatsuki organization coming and going freely here. Don't you want to admit it? Senjuk Sinai nodded, of course, of course I don't admit it. I can't take the blame for this kind of blame. Who do you think people will believe if this matter is spread? Although Tumim was not reconciled, she couldn't say anything. After all, she couldn't even explain the connection between the Akatsuki organization and Kirigakure, and the five major powers even identified the connection between the Akatsuki organization and Kirigakure. If things get serious, the public opinion may not be good for Kirigakure. I found Trumim's hesitation, especially the unwilling expression of biting her lip. Sanjuk Sinai couldn't help but make trouble with her. Ms. Yukij Sama, you don't want to be found out about your private invasion of Konoa, do you? You don't want two big countries, water and fire, to go to war because of your recklessness. Do you? Hearing this, Tarumim suddenly thought of something, and asked with a thick expression, You, what do you want to drive? Sanjuk Sinai shook his head and smiled helplessly, What do I want to do? You, with a thought, Tanzik Sinai displayed a miniature version of the Flower and Tree Realm rival. This was originally Sanju Hashirama's ninjutsu, which is an advanced version of the wood-style secret technique, the arrival of the Tree Realm. The flowers that bloom during the coming of the tree world need the caster's chakra as nourishment. And Sanju Starry Night directly condenses the range of the flower tree world to a very small range. This will also reduce the consumption of chakra lot. Tumim looked at the flowers growing on her body in disbelief, with a very surprised expression. This dot 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 what's the situation? I only bloomed. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.